And hello, also, like, everyone. People, how y'all doing one. today? Oh. Hello, hello. Oh. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Uh, We're just discussing mortality and, and death in D and D. Yes. N Notters. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hope yeah. that's not a bad omen. <laughs> yeah. It's really, uh, really Definitely not. Yeah, really strange. You just decided to uh, talk about that uh, after everything that's happened from the last session. I mean, I said, well, that's how we got started on it. I mean, honestly, it probably is the best to, uh, it is the best, <laughs> best to, to, best to discuss now. Cause, uh, who, who, man, tug totally shit. Yeah, cause you well, may have to uh, come to terms with that in the near future. Yeah. yeah well, that was literally be, well, that was literally what I was about to say just before we went, like you jumped in live with this was, is like, you know, I think that that's a big thing that when you start playing D and D, mm -hmm. you know, I see it a lot, especially with streamed games, people get like really upset about the concept of characters dying. And it's like, man, mm -hmm. it, like that, that's part of the game. Like you got to come into this game and know that that is a reality that could happen to you. Absolutely. Like, you know, I feel like I'm the, the polar opposite, opposite of that Os idea. Cause Os like every time I I'm about to die in D and D I'm thinking about what my next character is. Going <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> I, I love I, dying in D and D. I think oh, my backup characters waiting in the rafters. Right oh, I, I'm in. sure you do, but it doesn't lessen the fact that, you know, you're, you're a little heartbroken that your character maybe died and i mean that True. just goes that just goes to show the attachment that you've made to your character and that mm. we've played a sufficient yeah. enough we, we we've <laughs> entered a sufficient amount of time where you have grown attached uh to these characters yeah. that you've gotten to know because if you like die on like session two or three and you just shrug your shoulders and go you know <laughs> there was a sorcerer build i was looking to try that obviously <laughs> we haven't done the job <laughs> <laughs> I think you could have a little bit of column invested, A and column B. It's a good story. Exactly. And it's a good story. But more importantly, it's a good character. You know, I feel like I, I feel like, yeah, the campaign and story and all that's pretty good. But really, it's uh, to the credit of the player who was able to bring the character to life that we would be able to have such feelings for them. So mm. uh, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, Tom, good job. Good job. We all, uh, yeah. we yeah. were all shitting our pants, DM included. So. Well, it also helps with Rubai. We have cry. no idea what his HP is ever. Yeah, yeah. Until, <laughs> until, I, until I say uh, he fell. He's, he is, he is out. Yeah. He, is, he has and fallen not down. not having a way to heal him normally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I have one level one spell slot left, so that's the that I'm saving that one for when I have to heal myself with uh, inflict wounds. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a fun one today because you've just <gasps> you've just yes, that's what I hear. Yes, the stress. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. It's uh. Should be a, a good session. Happy session nine, by the way. We've been doing this for nine Woo. sessions. Nine Nuts. months. What are we naming our baby? Uh, <laughs> uh, man, where is, why is the door always locked when I get into this room? It's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird how I walk into the room and Cooley instantly locks the door. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you're yeah. stuck here. You're, you're. <laughs> you don't understand. That's the one. I'm that's the one. here with you. <laughs> you're stuck in here with me. <laughs> I, I don't know why I love that, that, that scene. Cause he gets like punched in the face too and he's like uh, and he's just like you're stuck here with me and it's just really uh uh watchman go uh go watch it it's a good line that was a good movie it's a good line people remember it it good was movie. really it, good comic book yeah oh if god you watch the movie and not read the comic i really recommend yeah it. watch 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 the comic Please watch the comic. Watch the, the comic. Yes, yeah, stare the at the comic. You okay there, Brett? You okay, buddy? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I uh, go out there, see a Star War. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite oh. things is when like they uh they make a movie based on a book and then they reprint the book with like art from the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So Ooh. are we thinking a big bad today? Is that Who knows? Who knows? Ah! Why, why? Why would <laughs> I, I tell? It? <laughs> why? Oh, why would I tell you what happens in the future? That uh, just seems we silly. We did say we were taking a short rest. That I, I desperately serious. need. Yeah, I, we all need some heels. I do. Uh, I do recall the uh, mention of a short rest and something. The we can, request. 
the request of a short rest. So you've decided to uh, short rest in the middle of a uh, dangerous den of evil. Is that correct? Yes, I uh, believe so. <laughs> okay. You see, let's, Mark. Let's not beat around beat around the bush. That is precisely what we've done. Uh, Mark, and, uh, what Mark's, we desire. I saw I saw Mark's DM senses go off when I said that statement, and he just kind of turned his cheek like, "Yes." <laughs> I don't precisely what we're doing. when it's nap time. When it's yeah. nap time, it's nap time. Look. Is anywhere to be safe though. Well, I. I'm in Gil can keep watch, right? No, he yeah, needs he's help. Yeah, he's a tree. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think like, Gloria doesn't need to like do it because we're only taking a short rest. We're not going to have a big yeah. old sleep. We're just yeah. going to so, do a little, little hour. Wondering now, if... here's the question I, I must oh. interrupt with. Uh, would you like to short rest or would you like some loot? You could only have one or the other. Oh, <laughs> that's fucked up. Okay. It's we fucked up. Help. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, of... you'll be doing both. You'll be doing both. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> Every once in a while, Big I just choices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if that was the choice, what would you take? But it would be loot, right? Yeah, yeah. Probably... <laughs> No, actually, no, up the up, 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 up the ante, up the ante. Would you take loot or would you take a long rest in place of a short <laughs> rest? I would take a long rest. I, I really rest. spell shots. Probably yeah. take a long rest if I had to. If I had to say, forego like, all loot for long rest. Is yeah. that the Let vote? Really if, the if, it's, if it's right. forego, if we it's get double no loot, but you delete ribeye right now. <laughs> <laughs> you get a long rest. You get your loot. And I uh, kicked Tom from the uh, the eye of this He doesn't even get a new character. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. I, I dissolve like Tom. a dry bones to Super Mario. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, but real talk, real yes, talk, yes. I think a long rest over loot would be clutch here. Yeah. If we're really <laughs> Well, if we're, if we're taking a you long rest, that's in the time I'm not, of a short I am. rest, then yes. I, uh, I was just Listen, curious. I'm a monk. All my resources <sighs> are short rest based. I, I was don't just... Th you, I was I just kidding. You, you get you, you, if you'd like to take a short rest, you can with all the dangers okay. that may come with it. Um, but no matter what happens, uh, there was indeed loot. Time, loot. loot time. If uh, would you move like to over yes. here, just so I'm a little bit further away from the only entrance to this room? Not oh, but there's another entrance to the north. Okay, I would. Mind. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I, plus, also, me and Kagami, I think, are just gonna like. I, K yeah. Glory is fine. Like, I, I am only use one spell slot, and I, I got that back with my mm -hmm. uh, arcane recovery. So. Well, I'm isn't okay. isn't that good for you? That you're <laughs> good. peachy oh, keen. Good, good, for good you. for you. <laughs> okay, question for you all. Yeah. During oh, sorry. The short, Please. During the short rest. Should I cook a meal that maybe might be better than the one that prevents us from being diseased or poisoned? Can you do that in a short rest? Uh, that's up, that, Brett. Uh, you have not. Th so today is the poison thing. Uh, the oof, okay. How the? Ooh, if I were to cook something else, I would I, like I, I would go into that expecting it to overwrite that effect. So whatever I cooked over right that effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So typically the way it works is the meal that you so that you would cook a meal before you take a long rest, and that's the buff that you receive for the next day. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. But uh this that's actually, you know, that's some uh that's And some, listen, buddy, that's you're some good gonna be questions. Spending... You're, you're going to be spending your time using hit dice to get hit points back, right? You're, there's none of this like you know you're going to be you're going to be getting those precious precious hit points back, right? Well, right? That, well, right? well, that's why th uh, that, that exactly. But that's why I wanted to cook the uh, the, the the one that gives boosting. yeah that gives us uh, fifty percent more hit dice on short rests. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you that do would have a bard in the party. That so would have had be getting yeah that would have had to be the uh, the day before. We'll just yeah, say yeah. for now. But I will. Uh, Something to think about. Something to think about in the future, in a future version. So you you, you bring so, up a valid point. So about that loot. All right. Uh, so how do we roll well, those? Uh, yeah. Whilst Brett sorts out the loot, Cooley, you, you're you're bard, right? Yes. So you have an ability called Song of Rest, which means that at least um, anybody who spends a hit dice, you get an extra one d six hit dice. Is that all bards? Um, sure. I was say, yeah, I yeah. It's one too. of their core bard abilities. It's uh, uh, it's not a college uh, ability. Let me we think. Two Give me one. I second. remember level. reading. Yeah, get that. it at second level. Three I don't level. see it on my sheet. We're, uh, we're gonna under... we're gonna take a peeky poo. We're gonna see. In fact, what actually, the heck. a bard as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I don't yeah. know if they, I don't know if they'd stack, but 
Uh, yeah, let's see exactly. Cause oh, it's right here. I'm looking at it right there. Song of Rest. Begin at do second level. Yeah, yep, sure. Yeah, you yeah, sure do, pal. Uh, begin yeah. at second level. You can use soothing music or uh, oration. I don't know what that means to help revitalize your <laughs> wounded allies during the short speaking. rest. You can privately. Yeah, I think around. that's like a speech. Yeah, yeah. if you are uh, and any friendly creatures who can hear your performance regain hit points at the end of the short rest by spending one or more hit dice. Uh, each of those creatures regain additional one d six hit points. That is. So how do we do yeah. that? Uh, so, so what the way that we're going to be able to do that and uh, we got two parts in the party that's kind of mm -hmm. that's kind of jacked yo so, that's pretty yeah, so is that just 2d6 yeah. on top of whatever our hit dice is yeah so the way the way that works uh go ahead uh up to the left uh to the left corner go to your features and click song of rest uh, and no matter what happens, if anyone's recovering hit die, your guys are going to get some bonus hit die. And I need uh, both Pandora and Ribeye to do that. So Pandora, that's a that's a five. So five extra hit points will be uh, healed if anyone spends their hit die during the short rest. Talk and uh, Ribeye. Another yeah, five. also a five. So we're looking at ten bonus hit points if you guys are spending hit die today. To, that's to, all to, I need. Well, <laughs> and I think that, that that so I think that's any amount. So even if you spend one correct. hit dice, you'll mm -hmm. get the ten correct. on top of that, which is pretty baller actually. Having Notters. So, so, so uh, I'm the, spending one hit dice. So the first question I'd like to ask is, Ribeye, I'm mean, going to have to do this manually for you because you don't know how much you're healing. Uh, uh -huh. how, ma how many uh, hit die would you like to heal? Uh, Keep in mind, you have just stood up from being unconscious. Yes, so that that would, in, th in theory, them. put me at one hit point. So mm. uh, I'm getting 10 automatically. I think as a bard, my uh, hit die is a D8. Correct. D8, yep. Uh, so should I use all four of them? Should I use two of them and save some for later? Get a, get more of it. You get half rest? back on De a long rest. Depending. So you two de two long rests to get them all back if you use. Wait, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I just yeah. thought you got all your hit die, die. Yeah. man. Yep. Yeah. Nope, the, it's half your hit dice. Man, the players become the DM. Look at you. Uh, so <laughs> uh, ribeye. Depending on how many hit dice you'd like to spend, I will be making a private GM roll that you will not be able to see, but the audience at home will be able to see. Uh, so you, you should go on the upper end. So you won't yeah, know how say, many hit points you, use, you I, I generate. Think I, I th three is a good number. Three. I was going to say three or max. Yeah, I would. I'm going to go three because in case in case we are able to take another short mm -hmm. rest, I would have, still have one hit die remaining plus the right. song of rest. That's, that's the long rest. Day. You'd have three again. Genius. Yeah. Smart. Smart. All right, I'll be making the private GM roll, and hey, audience. Let's go ahead and see how many uh, how many hit points uh, oh ribeye heals. Uh, and I'm looking at uh, those that are normally watching the stream. Stares at some of the don't players. Look. Don't look. Cover your eyes. I, I only looking. have chat open. I don't. I don't have. Uh, I, that, yeah. Do you have the uh, Do you have the eye slash icon? So I know that you're not looking. <laughs> like what? you actually have a legitimate. You can actually use the tag. That's like I'm not watching the stream, but yeah, I'm listening to a, it. You can put a badge next <laughs> to your name. That's like yeah. Watching without video. But you're using it unironically, unlike everyone uh, else that. <laughs> That's, that's doing I didn't, that. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's I've a, only seen it used ironically. Like I would yeah. say something and chat would all just be like, watching without audio. What did you say, streamer? <laughs> <laughs> so good. All right. So uh, I have rolled the hit points. Uh, allow me to uh, make I'm a so notation. Curious, but I won't look. <laughs> yeah, don't look. Don't look. I mean, it's, that's a good idea in theory because like there might be something where it's like, Somebody might like is might only be listening to it and then like type something in chat relating to what's been done yeah. visibly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's oh. the idea. But the fact that you can equip them manually instead of them just being like automatic when you enter those viewing modes. All it's right. Uh, hit points weird. have been healed. I will go ahead and be getting rid of your bardic inspiration. And I'm afraid I will also be uh, dispensing of your googly eyes. Oh, damn it. Because no. I'm a Brett, man. Will you help me with my short rest as well? I Just can. It's actually, doing. it's extremely simple. So if you uh, open up your character sheet, no insult to you, by the way, it is a simple thing once you learn it. Um, when you press C and open up your character sheet, uh, you'll see mm -hmm. a section that says hit dice should be right next to your hit points, correct? Uh, 
on the first on, on the top of the uh, of your yes. character sheet. Uh, you yeah. should see a little a little rectangle that says S dot rest. You're gonna click that. Okay. And then it's gonna prompt for like how many hit die you want to heal, et cetera, et cetera. Situa so it's only letting me plus ten. click four available. Uh, I don't want to use all four. If you do S rest, uh, oh, I see. Uh, you could go ahead and it says four available. Uh, just press the roll three times or four times. How many oh, would you I like to use? use? I only want to use one. Then just there press the roll once and then it'll uh, use one of your, your hit die uses. There we go. Did it, oh, uh, it didn't do it for me. No, it's okay. Uh, did you press... Uh, so when you press, oh, press the roll button and then hit the rest button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hit the roll button up to however many hit dice you want to have and then hit How the rest How many hit dice you want to spend, yeah. Because once I you see hit that. I it in chat. Did I do it? Or... Yes, you did. I'm looking at your character yes. right now. It says three out of four for your hit dice. Sick. And then Sick just. Nasty. Now you just hit the rest button to complete it. To complete the rest. Sick and then it. Nasty. And it automatically increases. Hey. Hey. And then. <laughs> Uh, someone, Gloria, you don't look like you're short resting. You're moving around the map. Doesn't yeah, look like a short I rest. I don't need to short rest. Wait, <laughs> you're, right, you're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're good. I'm distracted by the dancing on the screen. No, you're, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> with, the, with the hit dice from the Song of Rest, yes. I should have max HP. Correct, and we will, uh, we will adjust you. accordingly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know about you guys, I but uh, uh, short rest. by some miracle of nature, I feel 13 better. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> almond, al almond gills. Well, we had the ten, and then I and then I rolled three hit dice. That's a minimum of uh. That's a 13, minimum okay. of three. Plus your con mod 13. as well, dude. Oh my con mod! Holy cow! Yeah, I feel dude. at least let's see, fourteen better. Holy cow! Mm -hmm, Whoa! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one do I click to the select dice to roll? Uh, so press the uh, press the C to open up your character sheet. Uh, uh -huh. Look for the section that says hit dice. It'll be right next to your hit uh, hit points on the top of the sheet. And there should be an S rest oh. uh, rectangle. When you click that, uh, go ahead and roll how many dice you'd like to roll. Every time you press the roll, it's going to deduct one of your uh, your dice that you can use to regenerate your short rest. And then once you oh. have used a specific number of hit die, you're going to be uh, you're going to be great. So I can click it four times. That is yep. correct. Yep. But you're oh. four, we'll four hit dice. But just keep in mind, your long rest will only restore two of your hit dice at a time. So if yep. you'd like to restore the full Monty, yeah, you're going to have to take two long rests. So up to you. Um, I'm going to blow your mind even further, buddy, because it's a minimum uh, of 16, because it's your com mod per hit dice spent. I believe. <laughs> well, okay. So let me let me just click it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You've used one of your hit dice, which restores seven. Would you like to use another? Uh, yeah. Don't forget the plus 10 from the Songs of Rest. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you'll be at a 44, which means uh, you don't need to spend any more hit dice. You'll actually be at max health after the, you hit okay, the rest so button. Good. Bam. Mm -hmm. And then hit that rest button. Okay, one second. Hello. It's... <sighs> These... I love that, that we don't have to do right? this manually. <laughs> uh, well, sorry, what was that, uh, Kelly? Where it says short rest, right? Yep, so when you press the short rest, you've already rolled the dice, so there should be a rest button uh, in that same prompt. Actually, sometimes it's, uh, I find like using Foundry and stuff, because it does a lot of the math for you, but then you have to like click things in certain orders. So you, yeah. so um, Kelly, you've already pressed the S rest button. You've already pressed okay. the roll button, correct? Yeah, I clicked now, roll and Now all you have to do is press the rest button that should be in the bottom left of that prompt. Uh, okay to complete your short rest. Okay, rest. Hope this works. Yep, there you go. Yep. Short, short rest Dang has it. been taken. Very good. Uh, <laughs> any uh, Almond Gill is going to restore. Yeah, does Almond Gill heal? Oh yeah, he, he, he abso oh, yeah, absolutely. He got injured that, that last That was a pretty fight. good rest. Yeah, so. Does HP that. just go down? I uh, get a get, <laughs> you, bro. You're gonna have to give me a minute, okay? Sometimes I fuck up. Give this man a chance. <laughs> that was that, that wasn't based on, on a mistake. I thought maybe he had been like more no, injured. No, than we no, 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 no. I I accidentally yeah, typed. I instead of healing for 18, I actually typed 18, which replaces him. hit points. And then I was just about to fix it the next second, and I immediately got called out. You gotta give me a second to fix <laughs> this shit. Mistake cited. Mistake yeah. cited. He's not it's perfect. It's also I, yeah. I love the idea that <laughs> that potentially Brett was like. 
Yeah, whenever uh, Almond Gil takes a short rest, he takes damage. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> he starts slowly yeah, he dying. <laughs> I, 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 I promised you the stage would have said never that way. Uh, anyways, the withering tree. Uh, so, oh, but, uh, but uh, with with their short rest, uh, they heal back to full. Hell yeah. Uh, okie dokie. So I guess, uh, during your short rest, now that we've applied your short rest, now it's loot time. Uh, so, uh, a couple of things we're going to go over, uh, including little, little, little something, something that we're going to do in IO. Uh, and that includes fate rolls. So a fate roll is essentially look at it as the death saving throw. Uh, you roll a d20. Uh, 10 and above is favorable. Uh, anything below a 10 is unfavorable, which means that, uh, these fate rolls will typically only have two results. It'll have you did it or you didn't do it. Um, sometimes uh, f there will be an unfavorable fate roll, which means I have to roll two d20s and both, and, and both of them have to be 10 or above. Uh, because it's already skewed to uh, unfavorable. So uh, just something really simple that I do for certain checks. Uh, so we will begin uh, first and foremost right off the bat. Uh, you guys are going to get uh, find a Fey Blood Ogre Fang. Uh, this has a value of 250 credits. And um, you can also, well, so it has a market value of 250 credits, which means you have to find someone that'll buy it for 250 credits. Uh, or you can use it as a smithing material with a value up to 250 credits mm -hmm. for, uh, for, for projects. So if there's a certain project where material component is up to 250 or above, you can use that. Uh, if you use that for any project underneath 250, it still uses the material. The rest of it just, it goes away essentially, but essentially look at that as a credit for crafting, or you can sell it to, uh, to someone who'd be interested in such oddities, uh, for the, ca the cash. Give that uh, to the poor man. There, yep. uh, so uh, the second piece of loot you will automatically get will require a fate roll. So I'm gonna roll a 1d20. If I roll 10 or higher, you get an additional fate blood ogre fang. Let's find out what happens. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. So you don't get that. That will be a- uh, Well, that roll is still private. Yeah, that, oh, whoops, my bad. I rolled a yeah, one. Yeah, they're all been private rolls. Yeah. For some reason, when it says private roll, it gives me anxiety. No, no, no worries. I rolled a one, uh, as the audience <laughs> will let you know, so you do not get that. Sorry. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, very toxic. And then finally, <laughs> yeah, my apologies. This one is going to be an unfavorable roll, which means I'm going to roll a 2d20. Uh, one's a 12, but the other's a 2, which means you will not get that either. So you got one... Fey Blood Ogre Fang, uh, the other two bonus rolls you did not end up getting. That is Saudi. Uh, and finally, you guys get one piece of loot of your choice. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure I'm not selecting Almond Gill. Otherwise, Almond Gill is just going to start talking. And I don't <laughs> want that to happen. Look uh, at these things that are here. This is exactly what they are. Boom. I have found these things. All right. Uh, you get to choose one piece of loot from a loot table of five because this was a mini boss. Uh, the tattoo of Fey Wonder Armor, attunement required. Uh, tattoo is inscribed upon you. Uh, whenever you cast uh, Mage Armor or Star Barrier, uh, this the effects increase from 13 uh, AC to 14 AC. Um, Tome of Poison Splash. Uh, after spending one week studying this book, you learn the cantrip Poison Splash. Poison Splash is similar to the cantrip Acid Splash, with the following exceptions. Uh, instead of it being uh, a target of two creatures, uh, it has an area of effect of a 15-foot cube, and instead of dealing acid damage, it deals poison damage. Uh, but otherwise, it's similar to Acid Splash in every sim singular way, including the level scaling that's required from it. Uh, you do not need to be a spellcaster to learn this spell. Um, by default, this is a weak, um, but for you, the brave and adventurous party, uh, this will simply take a long rest, which means after you read it uh, during a long rest, uh, you will learn the spell and the tome will just fade away. Uh, the maneuver documents overwhelm. Uh, after spending eight hours reading these documents, uh, same thing, complete a long rest with the documents uh, research and you'll learn this, um, you gain the following feature, overwhelm. 
As a bonus action, if you have not moved and you've dealt damage with a melee weapon attack, you may deal an additional XD6 damage, where X equals your proficiency bonus. If your weapon deals multiple type damage types, you may choose which of the multiple uh, wi uh, which of the damage uh, type is the bonus damage. So, for example, your lightning weapon, uh, which is like slashing and lightning, and you attack with mm. that, and you go for the overwhelm, uh, you can go ahead and Ooh. get um, you That's do really good. proficiency d6. Yeah. Um, if you hit with a weapon attack, you can spend your bonus action to deal a bonus damage. Um, you could choose whether that bonus damage is lightning damage or if it is slashing damage, uh, depending on the damage that was inflicted with the melee weapon. So. Good, good, good. Um, but you can't move, uh, and you have to spend your bonus action to do so. Uh, Fae Blood Vial. Uh, this is a permanent transformation. After consuming the vial, uh, your skin begins to turn a faint blue or green. You let out a five-foot dim glow of blue or green light, depending on the tint of your skin. Uh, and you gain immunity uh, to being charmed. To remove this effect, you will need to be targeted with a greater restoration spell with the intent to remove this effect, which will then completely give rid of the permanent transformation mm -hmm. and then finally helm of transformation pretty stable uh pretty uh standard stuff uh from D, D standard while wearing this helm you can use an action to cast tech thoughts save dc 13 from it as long as you maintain concentration of the spell you can use a bonus action to send a telepathic message message to a creature you are focused on you can reply uh using a bonus action to do so while your focus on it continues while focusing on a creature with the tech thoughts you may use an action to cast a suggestion spell save dc 13 uh from the helm on that creature once used, the suggestion property can't be used again until the next dawn. You may choose one of these five. One. Hopefully, I've made it interesting for you. Choose one. I'm a sucker right. for. I'm a sucker for massive damage. The, so yeah, I, that maneuver document is really good. I think it would yeah. work best with glory, honestly, because uh, because mm. the. the Kelly Cooley and I are all ranged. Uh, I'm, I'm listening to, to Cy Fry be like, mm. also, but Cy but, but uh, uses uh, bonus actions for, uh, for, I use my um, bonus actions for unarmed strike and yeah. for flurry of blows. Mm, that's true. Both of those are key point resources, which are limited, but this yeah. is just, this is all the time. Yeah. Plus uh, this would do more damage than an unarmed strike. It yeah. Be... Also, Cyfry hits way more than I do. <laughs> that's, the, that's quite frankly the other the other element to it. Well, uh, that's just down to luck, really. I think we both have similar attack bonuses. No, 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 no. You don't hey, know. your move no, didn't no, fail no, you last no. session. That's all I'm saying. That's true. Um, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> looking at these, overwhelm, I would say is definitely the strongest pick here in terms of like game mechanics. Helm of Telepathy is a ton of fun, and it's a cool, just classic D&D magic item. Um, and then the Tattoo of Fae Wonder Armor, like, boosting uh, uh, Pandora's Star Barrier to a base 14 is pretty good with her mm. decks as well. That's, like, mm -hmm. actually a pretty good AC bonus for the that cost. That also means she can shield up to 18. And then also, like, any additional magic items and stuff will continue to boost the AC and stuff as well. Um, so that's a pretty good You uh, well. mentioned shield up to 18. That, will, that doesn't affect her, her shield. Yeah. Um, no, also, but the base will go up by one, so that would... Uh, for then for Star Barrier. Another fight. Ah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. If we're worried yeah. about yeah, yeah, yeah. our next fight, though, I've already used shield. Like, I know that's only, like, for one fight, but if we want to yeah, do a yeah, lot yeah. of damage for right. this no. next fight... Yeah, I think I think overwhelm is definitely like. Well, we need to. I would lean if we take towards. overwhelm now, we need to spend eight ra hours reading the documents to gain the. Oh. Uh, well, you you will have to you will have to complete a uh, for for Jam. this uh, for this game you will have to complete a long rest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind Which then. Pretty much the tattoo, all of these. The, the, the tattoo I think. also requires yeah. attunement. Yeah, then the tattoo is attunement. We did also so agree during the well. last. Attunement is well, one yeah, hour, the, just FYI. Who got oh, okay. the loot from the last? I did, I so we, that's yeah, the other thing. Okay. Emphasize yeah. people who didn't. Um, I still think Overwhelm is our best Overwhelm option, personally. Is very good. Uh, I mean, that sounds like this. That, who it would that, be best on. Well, it's going to take eight hours, uh, like a long rest to figure mm -hmm. out, which we probably can't do right now if we like, unless we just want to do that <laughs> now. But I feel like that would be a bit of a waste. Yeah. 
Um, no, yeah. We can always figure that out later, but it does sound um, like at least three people want to get Overwhelm, and I'm pretty heavy towards it as well. So that, to me, is is a pretty clear-cut case. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, um, uh, we unless, have Kelly, the... you got anything which is, like, you think is, like, super... Uh, that's one you I got... was looking for. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, let's let's take it then. Let's not worry about it too much. Let's just grab yeah. it, and then we Plus, can figure it out. Plus, even if we don't apply Overwhelm to me, I get the Fable and Ogre Fang for smithing materials, which will... Yeah, I definitely think yeah. you Probably. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Overwhelm. The uh, maneuver documents for Overwhelm has been obtained. I'm just going to add a little brief note here. Uh, who will be reading this document, or would you like to wait before you guys decide that? I think we should decide that at our next long rest. Long rest, yeah. yeah. The start okay. Of the next long rest, yeah. I'm going to add it to my notes for now and not add it to anyone's inventory just for the time being. Uh, so just uh, actually, no, it will. Who would like to hold on to the documents? Uh, I volunteer Gloria. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, I so brave. I explore the carrier burdens. <laughs> <laughs> so brave. Oh, volunteer. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> give me one moment, please. Ooh, no or is just the uh, just the NPC that you drag along to carry all your stuff because she's got a good strength bonus and she's Bloody. got the high AC. <laughs> Well, you know, you, you she's so much hotter than Lydia, you know, though. Story <laughs> yeah, she's romanceable as well. So that, you know, that. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty pog. Uh, so <laughs> let me see. That here. sex was poggers. Please Yo, that let me sex, hold your burden. Yo, that sex was poggers. When your face went hypers, I was going uh, to the moon. I was trying to think of a third one real fast, and I, I couldn't. I just thought of the fucking <laughs> the Mass Effect dialogue of yeah. meet me later. We'll bang. Okay. <laughs> well, bang. Okay. <laughs> well, bang. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, good shit. Uh, maneuver documents over. Well. Also, Brett just saying all the Twitch things just made is exactly how I felt walking around TwitchCon, where I was just like, <laughs> was everyone this just screaming poggers? Is sure is poggers. Uh, everyone's the screaming capers. poggers. Yeah. yeah I, was, I just was like, God, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I, I'd love to go to TwitchCon in San Diego, but uh, I don't want to fly because uh, it's like a coin flip if I'll actually make it to my destination now. So, uh, yeah. bombs, big nopers. That's there. part of the adventure. Gonna <laughs> coin flip if you get sick. Be like Lawman and land in the middle of a farm somewhere. Boy, that you are. Insane. I mean, to be fair, uh, the engagement on that tweet would be uh, <laughs> made a pretty good epic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. Anyways, now that I'm done help vomiting, me. help me. Uh, we are. <laughs> you guys have completed your short rest. Uh, I'm gonna make another fate roll for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, so uh, you begin to hear uh, off into the east the sound of rattling bones. Uh oh. Oh, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> it was no, not I ribeye. I think those. I think those orcs are back. The ones in the pre in the other. Because you know, hear. You hear it clearly Which because the door is, is open. <laughs> okay, just, thank you, she's Brett. She's gonna shut this door. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Gloria sound drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a brine shot, Gloria? I'm Maybe. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this is a very upsetting thing where I nearly die. This is called yes ending. <laughs> That's yes, and uh, let me stop the ritual. What's <laughs> 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 um, uh, happening? Okay, fuck. um. <laughs> Pandora Man, kind of. Like, I'm yes anding, dude. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> I, I just gotta build on it. I can't, can't go yeah. back now. Glory has uh, become a wild late. card. <laughs> Pandora kind of grabs um, uh, Gil by one arm and Gloria by another, and I start oh. to move everyone north. Let's oh. let's sneakily and quietly get away from those scary sounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, Your skin is nice. I'll be. <laughs> <I'll... laughs> Uh, Alban Gill will uh, look at the arm being grabbed, look back at you, and uh, just give you a nod. Perhaps uh, we check out this next room then. You're very kind, Pandora. The, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm very scared, Gil, if I can be real honest. And I like you, and I don't want any of us going down again. How you, How's that sound, yeah? We'll look after each other. Yeah. yeah Pandora kind of... Mind you want. You <laughs> you're dead because Gloria's <laughs> drunk? You got really with this involved, did you? Why uh, is Gloria drunk? I don't know. You were the ones who said it. Oh, like, uh, 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 Alban Gill will produce a berry and say, Eat mm. this, Gloria. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. As oh, you consume fine. the berry, your intoxication <laughs> vanishes. Yes, and. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. This room okay. is doing things wow. to our brain. <laughs> Unfor- we need to get out of here. Unfortunately, I only had one of those, so I won't be able to okay. do that again. Uh, Pandora know, has the much. brine touching her lips, and she's like, "Damn it!" Elvin Gill looks over. At that brine—it's really that brine's really strong. Yeah. Um, okay. Well. Uh, okay. Well, I'll I'll have a more serious look this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the door. No, it seems fine. I'm just looking. I can't <laughs> see anything wrong with it. You know what? And Pandora oh. kind of looks at Gloria, and she's like, "I'm gonna let that berry kind of sink in a little bit." Yeah. Okay. Can I? I open the door. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, why don't I stealth in and have a look? I almost sure. spat my water. <laughs> Just, okay, I open the door. <laughs> uh, as as uh, as you open the door, you hear the scattering of uh, of a skeleton uh, move uh, move deeper into the room to the north. Skeleton. I'm not meaning to tilt like this. Kelly's <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. drunk. drunk now too. <laughs> Try to use a touch pad. We got this. I'm fine. Okay. Um, can Vidalia. Can Pandora stealth yes. in and have a look? Roll. Give me a give me a stealth check, please. I forgot how to do everything. Hold on. Only stealth. nine sessions in. Hey, you did it. Uh, So, uh, yeah, with a 15 stealth, you're free to walk in if you'd like, if you feel confident in that role. Okay. Um, Uh, As as you walk in, you see a small... I can see that. You see a tiny skeleton uh, decorated with an old merchant's vest and a large backpack filled with various sundries kind of scatter uh, back over there and... It holds out its um, tiny scat- little hand. A fucking loot goblin? <laughs> it's a it's a loot mob. We gotta kill it before it runs away. No. Um. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna move any forward without telling my party what I see. So I'll go back out and I'll say, I I see a, a different looking skeleton, and he's got a backpack. Okay. Is he friendly? Ribeye, I don't think any skeleton besides you is friendly. I, I Whoa, don't like being a, the only one of my kind. <sighs> There's All a right. lot of skeletons out there. Perhaps I will stealth closer. <laughs> uh, okay. As you walk <sighs> in, uh, the skeleton has drawn a ladle and is pointing <laughs> it towards you. Soup's on. And I, I just say to him, because he clearly sees me, I say, is, is that for me? <laughs> That's the response. I think, I think, I think, I think she's talking to it. You should, you should go in there. This one looks like it's talking. I curtsy, I curtsy, and I uh, bow a little bit, and I say, do you have something for me? Uh... uh the skeleton will put the ladle away and just sort of waddle over to you. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, you'll see that it is the skeleton of a small kobold. Oh. Adorable. Oh, adorable. I say it out loud. I go, you are precious in every way, shape, and form. My name's Pandora. This is Ribeye, Gloria, Kagami, and Vidalia. How are you? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay, um, and I, I, I shout back to Gil, and I'm like, Gil, have you seen one of these before? Uh, yes, I believe that is a skeleton of the undead True. variety. <laughs> and uh, Pandora kind of smacks her forehead with her hand, and she says, all right. Um, <clears throat> I, I, and I, I kind of, um, oh, 
Uh, Where are you going, friend? Uh, Where are you going? The kobold skeleton will wobble over, uh, digging into their backpack before pulling out a uh, a merchant scale, placing it down. Uh, he'll, oh. Uh, it'll look around a little bit uh, before uh, <laughs> dropping what appears to be like uh, uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of lumber, uh, and then taking uh, what seems to be an oil-soaked rock of some kind. Uh, slam it down to the ground uh, before you see a small flare-up uh, as the lumber just immediately <laughs> illuminates. Ooh. Wow. Oh, that's a neat trick. You're talented, yeah. Bah. The kobold skeleton stares over at Ribeye, pointing. Hello. Hey. Hey. I, uh, I, I approach uh, the, the kobold merchant and uh, extend a hand. Huh? And then it raises a, a tiny hand before shaking your head, your uh, your your hand. This is my favorite this person like we've two ever xylophones, seen. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it is um, so nice to meet a, to meet another friendly skeleton. Hey, yeah. Merch uh, scale. Hedora gets out her journal and she is trying to very very quickly sketch out a sketch of this uh, cobalt skeleton. While uh, our skeletons may not come from the same species, I feel a certain kinship towards you. Mm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, before pointing at the merchant scale and pointing at you, and then giving mm. a shrug. Uh. Are you asking? Does he want to trade? Ways, yeah. Or. Mm. Points over at uh, uh at Pandora. Mm -hmm. Oh, he oh, wants to, to trade. trade. Merchant. Don't worry, I got this. I place my single credit on the scale. <laughs> mm. You'll see uh, the the little kobold merchant skeleton look uh, look over at the uh, <laughs> kind of look over at the uh, the single credit and nods a little bit before uh, walking over in this direction. Uh, sits down uh, with with their bony butt. <laughs> And then uh, drops down uh, their backpack before digging into it, uh, pondering and thinking. Uh, Pandora's gonna put uh, five we more have credits. Found the random mm. loot generator. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> points over. RLG. Points, or RLG. Damn it. Yeah. Points. Points. Uh, points over at now the five credits being placed. Uh, now having to dig oh, around ten. further. And Pandora then sits down uh, crisscross applesauce next Ooh. to him by the fire. So 16 has been placed over on the scale. Okay, it holds out his finger. Like, was, oh, no, it was 10 credits. Sorry, not one credit. I'll put my, all my 10 credits. Oh, 26 credits. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yoda? Yoda? <laughs> 26 credits you have, yes. <laughs> um, so what? So, uh... At 16 credits, it looked like it was about to pull out something, but the moment you put in 10 more, uh, it thinks to itself um, before it shakes its head at 26. Yeah. Too much. Too much. All right, I'll take, uh, I'll take, do you want to take your 10 back, Kagami? I take one credit off the scale. Oh, Final damn offer. It. And then I'll take <laughs> nine back. <laughs> okay, so once you take out the one credit, drop you at 25, uh, you see the kobold nod profusely uh, oh, before okay. you oh. take uh, take away the nine. No, uh, no, I'll put it and, back, I'll put it back. And then it looks over and, it's, and it goes, <sighs> <laughs> Okay, I put it back to 25. You oh, gotta keep them guessing, this is part of economics. Uh, I say, I'm uh, so sorry, we don't have great communication skills, we're working on it, yeah. Oh, actually, no. You took away the nine that that leaves sixteen there, right? Yes. Took, uh, no, yeah. That would oh, the oh actually, so when when you had sixteen, it look uh, looks over, it counts the credits, and goes, uh, ooh, uh, and the kobold will just sort of like waddle over to underneath this tree and just start digging, <laughs> uh, and then it'll drag out and slam down uh, something that is almost the same size of his backpack. Uh, oh as you'll see, yeah, you'll see a backpack slam down, uh, right on to, like, next to the scale, as if trying to place it on the merchant scale. Uh, <laughs> it points, it points at the 16 credits, it points back at you guys, and then it shrugs and goes, eh? Hey, I think it, this is- You got a deal! Ah! You got a deal! And it takes the 16 credits, and it, th and it, and it just throws the, the backpack, uh, over at, uh, at Kagami. 
<laughs> okay. Please, please be wow. worth something. Please be worth something. Is it a bag of holding? I was gonna say, do we just pay twenty six credits for a bag of holding? Uh, sixteen credits, and uh, so you, uh, with the sixteen credits paid for, uh, do you look into the to the the backpack? <laughs> of course I do. Uh, you'll find a bag of a thousand ball bearings, ten feet of string, a bell, five candles, a crowbar, a hammer, ten uh, pythons, <laughs> a hooded lantern, two flasks of oil, five days of rations, a tinder box, and a water skin, and what appears to be the severed hand of a burglar. <laughs> cool. yep. it's a pack. I look at the cobalt and I hold up one of my potions and Dibs I say, the hand. Do you have any more of these? Hmm? Looks over. Do you have any of these? Uh, which potion do you hand over? Um, just one of the regular healing potions. <laughs> yeah. Points at the scale. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to put down a hundred. Oh, try placing the potion on the scale. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll put a, pl a potion on the scale. Mm. That potion. Mm, mm, mm. It just starts to tap its little skull head, thinking gonna, a little bit. I'm gonna lead over to Gloria and be like, do you think this is worth more than 16 credits? Uh, what, the bag with all the things and the hand? Yeah, I think you got a good deal, I think. <laughs> I made money! Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen the members of the guild kind of buying similar. I mean, just the backpack alone is probably, you know, probably worth a few credits. And I mean, the severed it's hand is so a long since I've made profit. Um, and as it thinks to itself, uh, it will place 25 credits uh, on the other side of the scale for the potion. Okay, so then I remove my potion and I'll put 25 down and I'll say. Uh, you have potion for 25, then. Uh, it takes the 25 away, and it goes, ah, ah, and it shakes its head uh, over to you. I, I'm getting the feeling from this from this little gentleman that we, we put down what we're willing to exchange, and then he'll think of something he has that he'll give us, that he thinks is, well, they think, I don't know if it's a he, they think I is mean, worth the same, they think the same as a It's a skeleton. Um, okay. Uh, could could I could I try something? I, I've got a little something that I don't think we could really use ourselves. I know we talked about giving it to Ribeye's mom, but the the the, the petrified corpse would. I mean, I wasn't going to use it for anything, but I was just going to you know potentially look at we could try and sell he it. But offer for it. Ribeye's yeah, mom. Key. <laughs> yeah, the necromancer lady. Necromom oh, Necromom okay, okay. Uh, Mommy, the, sorry. So <laughs> of the sixteen, uh, I see uh, Kagami uh, took. Let me go ahead and uh, show this, by the way, so everyone's aware of everyone's wealth. Ah, uh, uh, there it is. So, uh, <laughs> home uh, sweet home. <laughs> so ten was taken away. Uh, who pushed in the six credits? That was Pandora. I did. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, three thirty-eight, correct? Yeah. Sorry for moving your character. 338. Uh, excellent. And uh, okay. Uh, so anyways, continue. What were you about to do? Uh, well, so I, I, was... take, I take back the potion and I uh, look at you and I say, if you want to put the petrified wood on the scale, I don't see an issue with that. Well, I was just going to see. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that he won't just give credits for it, but might give you know, something of value or something of equal, you know, that he, or they think that it might be worth the same amount that they think is, is worth it because, uh, we can probably say, but yeah, I was just going to try it and see, um, see what I we look get. At, I look at the, uh, merchant and I say, can we call you Froppy? <laughs> All right. This is Froppy. Froppy? Yeah. Let's okay. do it. Decla. Oh. Decla. Decla. Gatla. 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 That suits you, Gatla. And I take uh, I take the the picture that I drew of Gatla, and I I write down Gatla on it, and then I uh, hand it to him as a gift. Ooh. Uh you'll see Gatla place uh, the drawing on the merchant scale. Think to themselves. <laughs> place a credit down and go hmm? <laughs> no it's a gift Ow. you don't have to give me a credit <clears throat> it's free <clears throat> you take that mm. uh takes the takes the the drawing puts it in their backpack hands you the credit oh thank you i think he communicates in the language of trade <laughs> I'll i take think the he just credit. did a commission for him 
<laughs> this is my favorite nice. interaction. Okay, I'll yeah, stop. Yeah, we are going to spend the entire three hours here, by the way, Brett. Just so you know. Finally, uh, someone friendly. Yeah, yeah, finally, someone's friendly. Yeah, so I think I, I, I will put down the petrified corpse wood, but I'll say to get Gekla, like... <coughs> Excuse me, I nearly choked. <coughs> no, <laughs> nearly. no credit, just just items, uh, um, exchange, uh, item exchange, and I'll uh, put... as you put the wood down, and you're saying that Gekla is already counting credits out. Like, hmm, hmm, hmm. okay, uh, okay uh, I'll take. Uh, okay, I'll take. But when you say this, items, it looks over at you, confused, uh, as okay. if it needs more information. Yeah, no, I I think I get it. I think I, I understand. So I'll take the petrified corpse with book, but I'm I'm gonna put a hundred credits down and just see yeah. what he put. But what mm. he gives for that. Mm. Like, oh. <laughs> mm. uh, it'll uh, <clears throat> start kind of like looking through everything and just kind of starts kind of. <laughs> um, before it pulls out what appears to be um, a vial of this sort of like greenish dark fluid um, that is okay. si that is similar uh, to the necromantic potion yes! and then go hmm Ooh. and then place it down and ah! okay. deal sure and I'll, yeah I'll take it and, uh, uh, and that takes the uh, 100 credits and right, can uh you tell me what this is can you identify I guess yes, I was going to see if I could do a medicine check on that why uh, didn't you check it before buying it uh, That's you, fine. He's a lovely. You, I like him. He's fun. You can do medicine, or you could use your uh, alchemy tools to check what it is. Ooh, yes, I'll use my alchemy tools. Mm -hmm. uh, as you analyze, it has the Oop. same properties as the. Twice. Yeah, it's all good. I'll, I'll take the fourteen. Uh, as you analyze, uh, you see it has the same properties of the uh, necromancy potion. Uh, this yes, can, this can be used to heal a uh, ribeye. Yes! Okay, I put down 100 credits just to see if he's got a second one. <laughs> Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and places another one right there. Yes! Oh. I look at Ge Gekla and I say, you are the sweetest little thing that's ever happened to us. And I uh, I take the potion, I hand it to Ribeye, and I put mm. out my hand to shake his. Uh, uh, the handshake? Uh, it, yes, confirmed. Uh, you <laughs> take... Another... For, for safety's sake, I'm gonna put a hundred credits on there as well. Oh! <laughs> Place wow. another vial Look at over all there. These money havers. <laughs> Pandora's well, got some of us she's didn't doing spend a little on skag -zag <laughs> What do you think he would buy the skag zag plush for? <laughs> you can you can see <laughs> what he offers. Off in there and just wretches. Oh. What what was that, Vidalia? Oh, I was gonna try to put one of my handkerchiefs down just. Uh it stares at the handkerchief and looks at you and then just sort of just eh? They're very valuable. Um you can wipe if you're sad, you can wipe your tears away. I'm sure you cry sometimes. <laughs> and it just kind of brushes the the, the, the handkerchief off. Aww. Oh, it's nice, it's beautiful. Alright. <laughs> so was that yeah, Ribba, did Ribby put 100 and get another potion? Yeah, so, so you've got, got, you've got three, three potions. Oh, three. Now we're at three. I'm going to distribute some of these uh, that way in case I go down again. One of you could could give me the kiss of life with that thing. Yeah, maybe yeah. keep oh, two and then give one to someone. Let me kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steven. Uh, I give I give uh, oh, Cogney one of the potions. Okay. Um... Well, does anybody want to trade anything else with Gekla? I mean... I put the mysterious emblem on the scale that we haven't mm -hmm. identified yet. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of looks at it a little bit and ponders to itself, um, almost as if Gekla looks confused by it. Um, Gekla then thinks and then goes, oh, uh, before uh, pulling out a scroll. Let me check something real quick. Uh, I gotta check my notes to see what the value of this scroll would be. Uh, Gloria, you would recognize this as a scroll of identify, specifically. Ooh. Um, as it looks at the emblem, it will then, uh, kind of like push the emblem off, uh, place the scroll of identify on the scale, and then point on the other side, as if to mm. expect you to 
buy the I, services of the identification. If mm. if we if we buy the scroll, I, I think I could copy it into my spell book and and then I would have access to it. But um, I have I something think... I could trade, perhaps that isn't credits. I wonder if he'll take it. I mean, we um, yeah, certainly try. I so the Evergarden blooms, they'll die in twenty four hours at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can only use one a day, right? Mm -hmm. So I have two. True, might as well sell one. So I think I'm going to put one of them on the scale and uh, 15 credits as well. All right, give me uh, one quick second. Magical uh, green. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's, uh, I'm playing through Star Fox Adventures, and this all these interactions remind me of the merchant from that. I've been uh, listening to the Zelda Ocarina of Time shop theme while we've been doing this. <laughs> I'm nice. literally obsessed with this cobalt. Perfect. Like, I want fan art of this cobalt. I'm going to commission someone. This oh, awesome. that is the, <laughs> that's so sweet. Um, it really does feel like the the shop room in a roguelike dungeon. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so that's you one. You have like no control over what you get. <laughs> you uh, just put money down. Uh, who... Um... Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to figure out. So I'm going to delete that. Sorry, I'm getting everyone's uh, inventory in order. All right. The burglar pack, by the way, Kagami, uh, <laughs> uh, weighs uh, almost 50 pounds, and you are now uh, overburdened. Oh. Give it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll carry it. Kagami, do you no. hand the burglar's pack uh, to Gloria? You're clearly struggling. Cut. Cypher? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're thinking. You're doing a thonk. I see. You can always split yeah, you it. So. You could get rid of the severed hand. <laughs> the hand of Gekla? <laughs> oh, my uh, God. I just realized. <laughs> oh, my God. You're right. Mm -hmm. These are all stolen goods, but it's fine. Yeah, I go, I'll hand over the burglar's bag. All right, uh, Gloria, you're at 185 pounds out of 240, so you're still uh, good to go there. Um, still, also, still very spry. Yeah, of the uh, three necromancy potions, I see one for Ribeye, uh, one for Kagami, unless Ribeye has two. I, I think having it spread to more of the party, would I think, would be good in case one person isn't in, in a good position to help. Who would you like to give the third one to? Let's go Pandora. I, I, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> All right. A potion of healing necromancy. Actually, I'll just, I'll name this. Uh, actually, I, I put a potion of healing necromancy. So if you drink that, it, you deal a 2d4 plus 2 necromantic damage, or you heal half as much for ribeye. So uh, it has been spread. Anyways, what was the exchange we were doing? Oh, yeah. The uh, scroll of identify is on there. Uh, and you just sort of see Kekla yeah, pointing think, at the other side. I think I Gloria would. Oh, go on. Oh. Oh. You, oh, that's right. You wanted to put your blooms down and see if the I put the bloom and I was going to put money down to show him that I was hoping to make that trade. Mm. Um, so, so you place the bloom down on the other side um, and were you placing anything else? Yeah, I'll place um, 10 credits down as well. Uh, so as uh, you place the bloom down, Gekla looks and then you place 10 more credits and Gekla's eyes just open up. Uh, as you'll you'll actually notice the scale tilt a little heavier uh, to the credits and the Evergarden Bloom before Gekla just takes it and goes, ha, and then hands you the scroll. <laughs> I, and I say, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> and uh, I Pandora. hand Gloria the, the oh, scroll. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it will take me a couple of hours to, to copy this. Um, so I, I I can I can do that now, but it will take me a few hours to, to copy it into my book. Um, but then if after you need that, a fuck I... ton of bell bearings, you're gonna regret making this transaction. I'm a bit nervous about um, the big bad in here. I think things are well, a little bit time sensitive. I, yeah, I could always uh, we keep the scroll for now, but it means that we won't be able to sell the emblem to Gekla. Or, or I could just use the scroll, um, and it just means I won't be able to uh, I won't be able to cast that spell again. Um, I have I an idea. Yeah. I'm going to pull out the magical Skagzag blush and mm -hmm. very hesitantly put it on the scale. Mm. <laughs> mm. Gekla will hold up a credit, 
like holds it up to you. Huh? I don't think you know what this product is capable of. I squeeze the sag, sag, sag plush, it goes eh. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Gakla will place down uh, 60 credits on the other side. Hmm? How, many, how much did I spend to get this thing? Oh, way more than that. Significantly Mensky. more than like, 60. 500. I, I, kinda, <laughs> I look at Kagomi and I'm like, I don't know if this is a trade you want to make, friend. And also with that emblem, I mean, we can always sell that when we get back to town as well. I yeah. think that I, I can identify it by then. You're right. I could never part with my most prized possession. Exactly. No. I think, I think we, uh, I bah. think we... I'm sorry. Who made that sound? <laughs> that was Gekla. Gekla, Gekla noise. Oh, Gekla, you are a treat and a half. Hmm. Wait, where's Gil? Huh? He, he's being a tree. Okay. Uh, just, just always assume Gil's with you. Yeah. Okay. I Hello, just want to make right sure here. it wasn't like some random twist that That's... we got separated from him. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, this, this is being lovely, but maybe I think maybe we should. We should, we do, should go, we should. yeah. Before, but before we head off, though, as a as a show of goodwill between skeletons and to thank Gekla for his services, um, mm -hmm. Ribeye's gonna clack his bones together in a very rhythmic fashion, um, in in performance. Uh, just this sort of like solidarity between skeletons. A lot of xylophone noise are going to come out of this. Mm. Uh, Gekla will clap uh, their bony hands as you hear the kind of the sound of uh, bones just rattling. Ding, 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 ding. Aha! Hell yeah! Uh, I reach over for a high five for Gekla. Ah! Gekla gives a high five. And the, the, the clattering of bones echoes through the chamber. Oh, -ho! <laughs> thank you very much, my friend. I hope, that paths... Oops. I hope that our paths may cross again. Mm. Does, does Getcla, is he just like a cobbled skeleton? Does he have like any clothes or anything? Uh, he's wearing like an old, you see just like an old like traveler's clothes, set, set of clothing. Okay. Like, definitely you know, old and battered. Common clothes. I was I was gonna say like like we, I want to give him like a little trench coat like a little merchant's coat. Uh, like oh, with one, one of the clothes. What do you buy? I, I want him yeah, to look like yeah. the merchant from Resident Evil. Yeah, I want him to have like a little like coat he can open and be like, What do you buy? Mm. Uh, what do you um, uh, what do you uh, what are you? Well, giving? we've got the we've got Kagami's traveler's clothes, That's but true. Uh, I don't know if he'll accept them. But I think that actually that joking <laughs> aside, that was me just being stupid. Oh, uh, gotcha. I think they're too big for him. Gloria will uh, just bend down, like, as we're kind of getting ready to leave, and on the, like, lapel of his, like, tunic or whatever he's kind of got over his bones, uh, I'll use prestidigitation just to create a little uh, illusory little mark of, like, a symbol of a scales, like a little merchant's badge, and I'll put that, like, on his little huh? tunic. Oh! Um, uh, just Gekla. so people know that you're a, you're a little friendly merchant and not a not a, a spooky bad skeleton. Uh, Gekla claps and places five credits on the scale. Eh. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. I like this. This is a very nice economy. He's very generous. I hate this economy. I um. <laughs> it's done nothing for me. Pandora looks at the group and says, we should go before we decide to never leave. And she's like crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what we could do is when we're finished, maybe we could see if Gekla's still here and then we take him with us. Yes, yes, I, I love that idea. Yes. We can't just take a skeleton. Well, we could encourage him that he'd be welcome to Why not? You didn't stop at me. Us. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, as you see Gekla uh, place, realizing that the trades are now done, uh, will place the scales back in their backpack and then just stomp out the fire, the, uh, the, the, the fire. <clears throat> I blow him a kiss because I assume he's going to leave. Oh. Goodbye, oh, oh. beautiful <laughs> Gekla. Oh, goodbye. Gekla returns to the, to the darkness of the corner. Shall we proceed? Yeah, we're gonna come back. We're gonna take that little fellow with us. Why the yes. fuck everything costs He's my is, new uh, best friend. Uh, that fellow's. Uh, I, I want that fellow to work in my restaurant. There's a door here. Oh, yep. Sorry, gotta do my job. 
do 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 we think that this one could be should I investigate this one or are we just okay with always. me? Always. We might as well try. Always. Okay. You have investigated the door, you do not detect anything. It's dangerous. a door. I open it. <laughs> 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 This adventure is not doing good right. things for the mental state of the party. <laughs> hey, light boy, come on, light boy. I like the thing that like, like, for some reason, I think of like one of those things where it's like somebody rings the doorbell and Glory just goes, door, <laughs> door, <laughs> meh, normal door. As you is enter it? deeper uh, into the area, um, this sort of dark wind continues to brush through as a feeling of 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 unsettlement sort of surges past you being indoors and feeling wind seems to remind me of a different life that i had once it feels nice shall we go <laughs> okay let me let me do my usual thing door check ah oh, beautiful uh that's good uh, you, yeah, you do not, with, with that, uh, you do not see sure anything wrong with the door. This is a door. I open it. <laughs> I feel like Gloria's aged 10 years since the start of this adventure. Gloria's gone insane since Gloria's this like, is like, a, like an old lady now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. These are narrow cool. corridors. This is where we got to be more careful, okay? Uh, I can stealth ahead. <laughs> as you walk over, uh, a genuine you, gasp. You genuinely <laughs> scared Cooley. I got jump scared. <laughs> uh, you see the orcish skeleton walk down uh, over there, looking over at you, and then turning over to this hallway as its bones rattle. It seems like it doesn't have the ability to fight. Uh, oh, uh, I don't. Mm. <laughs> And it um, will, as it looks over, turn around, begin to walk in the opposite direction. Okay, nobody move. I want to check this, like, where we're at this T-junction, Brett. I uh -huh. am like, my, I, or every Sogu historian vibe in my body is like, check this floor, check this floor, check this floor. Mm -hmm. Like, can I like be examining to see if there's like any, does the floor look loose or does it look like it might yeah, crumble? Yeah, investigation is, is more than welcome. And you can roll an advantage because of your previous uh, oh, critical success. I'll, I'll just roll twice. Hey, there you go. Um, yeah, as you look around, the area does not appear to be trapped, but okay. you, uh, you just sort of get this sort of this feeling, this surge of dread. Oh, that's not good. Okay. As you approach, um, okay, uh, as you continue to go deeper in. Yeah, take a couple of steps. I was worried that that little, I was worried that skeleton Hang was on, let me of, get the light up there. You might, yeah, you might need to step forward. Yeah, I was worried that that little skeleton was like trying to lure us away and that this would be like a pit trap or something. And then we would chase after the skeleton and we'd all fall in the pit trap. Uh, if I made an evil um, wizard castle, that's what I would do. Uh, Almond, Gill will, will, Almond Gill will state, The threat is near. The one oh. that had a hold over my mind. I can okay. sense them. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that they're not going to take over your mind again? I am... I was taken once before. I would not want to give you false promise. Just while, the, I'm, just... uh, while I'm prepared for someone to try and take my mind again and to fortify against it, I cannot make such guarantees. I'm not asking for yeah. guarantees. I'm asking for confidence. How confident are you? One to ten. Let's go. Hmm. Here's, here's the thing, yeah? What if, and this is a long shot, what if you hand me that pan flute I let you borrow? Hands you the pan flute? And, um... Let me just, if, uh, there we go. If something were to happen to you, um, I'll, I'll play you this little diddly, and Pandora plays running up that hill <laughs> on the pan <laughs> flute. <laughs> mm. Amazing. Anyone? To, to answer your question, Ribeye... <laughs> <laughs> Unfor unfortunately, I cannot offer such guarantee or even what? such confidence. 
as I am as I am uncertain of the threat. Yeah. Well, I, I can. I could. Sorry, Vidalia, you go. I was just gonna say it's probably safer for him to be with us than to be out. You know, who knows what's out here that could get him and take hold of him? Probably better if he's within our sights. And, I will, and yeah, I can, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. I will leave it up to you. If Another you are not great song. If well, you are not confident, uh, if you don't have confidence within my ability to maintain control, I can wait here if you wish. Well, as long as I can keep my concentration, I, I can ward you um, against uh, undead, if that's what we think. I mean, the the Shadow Veil, is, is that, uh, are they undead creatures or are they more fiends? Um, because I can ward you against possession by such You can things. roll an Arcana or Religion check to learn more of the Shadow Veil. Ah, uh, that will be an Arcana, please. Uh, any sort of <laughs> advantage arcana, or anything? Please. Can anyone give me a hand or... I am out of, um... Oh, well, I can help. Yeah, I'll use a help action. Do, are you that, proficient in Arcana? Uh... Nope. Then you Just, cannot help. No, yeah. Ignore I'm, me. I think I'm the only one who can do it then. Okay. Well, bums. <laughs> um, with that, um, Almond Guild will state, the, den the denizens of the Shadow Vale, once upon a time, a thousand years ago, were simply lost spirits and souls that wandered in a purgatory of insanity. Ever since the first breach of your realm, they have inhabited the bodies of the fallen, becoming fiendish devils and awakening a new power. You do not deal with undead, but otherworldly so uh, sources. And if you have not dealt with the shadow before, there is little you can do to shield yourself against it. Pandora pulls out the plan f pan flute. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. I, I think I'll still try to try and ward you against... I mean, it sounds like they're more fiendish in nature, so I, I can try and ward you against that. Um, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it, at least I'd like to at least try. Um, and maybe it will help you, or it might give you some additional mental protection, if nothing else. Um, or at least, certainly, if they are fiendish in nature, it, it should help ward you against any of their attacks. Um, but I think that I would at least like to try, if that's what we're going to do. If you believe it will help. It, it won't hurt. Let's put it that way. Um, uh, but it, everyone else, I mean, the, the double door is ahead of us. I mean, that looks like it's the way to go, but it does look like this corridor does splinter off. Do we want to do we want to explore everywhere else first, or do we want to just go and... I just hope there's not more of those lurking around if we go that way. I just yeah. thought that things are a little bit time sensitive, yeah? Yeah, yeah I mean, we, got a, we got a ritual to stop. Okay, in that case, uh, I will take my rod and wave it over Almond Gill, and I will cast protection from evil and good against fiends. All right. Uh, Protection grants several benefits. Do, Creatures do, do, do. of those types have disadvantage. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, on attack rolls against the target, target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Um, so, okay. no idea. Uh, flub that arcana roll, but hey, yeah. maybe it'll do something. They they will nod um, before stating, I believe this will help. Thank you. And it, if it I... Look like... Oh, go, oh, on. go on. No, you go on. I was just gonna say it will look like uh, a series uh, on Armand Gill's kind of like wooden uh, outer kind of frame. It will look like a series of blue geometric kind of like traditional magical sigils, mm. so all all over his body basically. Armand Gill will nod before turning to the rest of you and state, "If the entity from within possesses me again, hold, do not hold back. You will only have a." brief moment of time to dispatch of me if the entity continues its control I may be as powerful if not more powerful than when you faced me before 
This is very foreboding, and I'll be honest. I think we've got the power of friendship on our side, yeah? I appreciate uh, the warning. I'm sure we all do. But we're gonna avoid hitting you if we have to. If we don't if we don't have to. Almond Gill will turn over to Pandora and say I appreciate your companionship, your friendship. But one life should not be worth that of everyone yeah, yeah, on no, this planet. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll kill you if we have yeah. to. Well, as you on, as you, as you blow off what he says, he stops talking. <laughs> no. when, it, when it comes down to it, we'll try to save if we can. But if we can't, then then you know we'll we'll do what has to be done. I just don't want to have to think about that, Gil, right now. Yeah. Almond Gil has nothing more to say. Oh my God, Brett! Okay. <laughs> can any uh, just in case every, anybody else who can make preparations, make sure you do it now. Uh, uh. I was wondering, can I see if it's like Faye? Since I have, like, that's my creature type. I was wondering if I could check to see if it's, like, only in one spot that the the energy is coming from or if it's coming from multiple spots or something. Uh, you would be able to sense if there is the presence of Fae within, I believe, a mile with your ranger ability. I can't tell you where it is, but I will detect oh, okay. you that you're there. Yeah. That's, well, we know there's something here, so <laughs> I guess that's kind of... Okay. Uh, Pandora, if you let me, just let me, if you can swap places with me and I'll, I'll open the door just in case. Yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. All right, is everyone ready? <sighs> as ready as we're gonna be. Mm -hmm. Sorry for interrupting you, Gil. <laughs> and then I blow him a kiss. <laughs> All right. You are at the the, uh, the door as you oh open boy. it up. Oh, boy. Gloria opens it. You immediately see the side of a ritual. A tree of an otherworldly nature uh, stands before you as energy ripples around. Beautiful. I was gonna say, yeah, kind of gorgeous. Pretty. All right, everybody keep your wits about you though. And yeah, I'm gonna be, my ears are straight up trying to, you know, just listen and detect for anything untoward in this area. What's it, What's all this about? I was uh, gonna say, I could just like- some sort of Magical sigil. circle on the ground here. Uh, you are free to investigate or do an arcana check. I well, will examine it with Arcana for a 21. Okay. Um, as you do so. So imagine you, like Gloria kind of crouches down is like examining it kind of thing. All right. Uh, and me, I got her back. Let me do a, a quick check. Mm -hmm. uh, you good. sense powerful conjuration magics. Um, as you begin to look at this, but it's definitely like sort of a a bastardized version of conjuration used recklessly and with abandon, but on purpose, specifically for the fact um, that it, it appears a not only a gate is attempting to be made uh, between here and uh, Fey Wonder, but also a link between Fey Wonder and the Shadow Veil almost used offensively to make a tear, a second breach from the Shadow's Veil to Io. And as you look and investigate, you will see um, as, uh, oh boy, you will see uh, as Vidalia begins to walk away and before any of you have a chance to react, a creature hidden and invisible until now will slink down from the ceiling and slash Vidalia down with a surprise attack oh, shit. with its twin scythe. Oh, fuck. Oh, and I need everyone fucker. immediately to roll initiative as the encounter um, just begins with this devious uh, entity of shadow. This guy looks cool. Yeah, he reminds me of fucking my nightmares, dude. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of the Batman who laughs. All right. Oh yeah. Please roll your initiative if you haven't already. Uh. So we will Balmeret, immediately start with the, the surprise. You'll. We will immediately start with the surprise action as this creature just sort of almost sleek, like just sort of like go immediately drops down, uh, and goes in for the uh, scythe at advantage against Vidalia. 
Uh, 22 will hit, dealing 11 points of damage. Hit. Uh, can, I, can you use reactions in a surprise You cannot. Round? You cannot. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Okay. So as the, uh, as the scythe drops down, you'll see this creature standing tall, looming, and looking over you. And will say, You've caused so much trouble, but I'm glad to finally meet you face to face. Uh, uh, so you will just see that this huge cut from the scythe uh, go down uh, before the creature continues. Bear witness to the second breach and the coming of shadow. Ribeye, you immediately have combat surge and you have top initiative. Nice, uh, nice. What would you like to do? Well, uh, second verse, same as the first, I suppose. I'm going to use a uh, mantle of inspiration on all my friends. All my friends. Okay. All my friends. Yep. They may use their reaction to uh, move without provoking an attack of opportunity. I would okay. like to temp HP, but no reaction for me, please. I'm gonna save mine. Ooh. Okay. I'm going next anyway. Uh, looking at everyone, uh, you already have five hit points. <laughs> Pandora will gain five hit points. Thank you. Vidalia will gain five hit points. I can do that and all, five all, people. Yeah, I was going to say. Almond Gil, well. too, correct? Actually, where do I want yes. to move? Five hit points. I'm going to be moving next to Kagami. So. Okay. Um, and you go next to the order so you don't have to waste your reaction. Exactly. Yeah. I'll go there. All right. Okay. This is going to be oh. a second round for me anyway. I'm shitting my dick right now. Real oh. talk. <laughs> All right. I mean, when it, when it, when a villain, when a monster has a name and then a subtitle, you know it's serious <laughs> business. <laughs> Pretty much. This guy's gonna have a second health bar. I'm sure of it. Uh, <laughs> Phase right. two cutscene. One hundred percent. Yeah. All right, ribeye. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to do? Uh, question real quick. Is this like, is this like an arch or is it like on the ground? Uh, it is. Uh, you will require double movement to move over that. It's like uh, a little half wall. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like a shattered uh it's like a shattered uh, uh, uh chunk of rock. That, of wall, that was wall. that was once yeah. a, a, upon a time an archway, now completely just decimated on He's the ground. Heading below. Straight for the chest high wall. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Ten, fifteen, and then Correct. if if I'm able to, I wanna I wanna like take cover behind it. Uh taking cover was the mantle of inspiration bonus? Uh yes, you can take cover. Is that is that an action or is that part of my movement to take cover? Uh Mark, do you know off the top of your head? I, uh, I, I think it's just I think it's just if you are in something that the DM is like, yeah, that would count as cover, then you get yeah. the cover bonus. I don't think there is like a take cover action or bonus action or anything. All it's right. Just well, I mean, if, if you want to, if you want to, like, crouch down behind it, yeah, it's, and yeah. if it grants cover, that makes sense. Uh, and okay. also, like, if like the if like the other if the guy was on the other side, like where there wasn't this break, then yeah. I, I guess it would just you wouldn't get the benefit, right? I guess it's you only you will have to fall to prone to take the cover. Would you like gotcha. to do that? Uh, I'm gonna okay. So first, I'm gonna uh, hit him with uh, with vicious mockery. Okay. Uh call out to him saying, uh, I don't know. Your ingredients are terrible. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, it will fail that roll. Uh, taking uh, two points of psychic damage. Next attack roll it makes will be at a disadvantage. Well, cool. and now I'm going to fall prone. Uh, okay. And you fall prone. <laughs> this is, oh, whoops, wrong prone. Sorry. <laughs> Yep, give me a minute, please. Uh, all right. Okay, man. Vicious mockery. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ribeye, does that end your turn? Yes, it does. All right, it's a legendary action. Uh, you will immediately see uh, this creature stand tall, 12 feet, um, looming and leering Jesus. over everyone uh, before saying... <laughs> Fascinating. I've heard so much of Ionians. I've craved this battle for this very moment. Come, you. You shall be the first to face a show's wrath. Before it points uh, down over at uh, Kagami. Uh, attacking with a legendary action uh, with the brilliant twin scythe, this will be at a disadvantage. 
19 uh, to break the armor class. That will still hit for 10 points of slashing damage. Oh, as you just, goes my temp. As you just kind of see this, the you just kind of see the scythe just, just like drop down. Um, it's a twin scythe, so you actually see the curved blade on the top and bottom of this quarter staff as he then just spins it around and holds it up. Uh, Gloria. Okay, I have a question, and then I'm just going to take my turn. The This sigil uh, that I was investigating, this kind of crudely made sigil, mm -hmm. um, what is it, like, drawn or made from? And do I think it is something that I can disrupt or, or you know, erase? Or, Were you the one you know, that made the uh, the, uh, the Arcana check? I was, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. 21, I got. Uh, 21. Uh, it appears to be that of pure energy that has been, the rune itself has been burned into or inscribed uh, into the to the ground itself. Um, it, it's, it's going to be a lot more difficult than just dispatching of a drawn rune. Um, but if you destroy the area, which will take uh, some time, uh, it may disrupt the rune. Okay. Well, I think um, first thing I'm gonna do is take a five foot step next to Kagami here. Uh, and uh, I might even say like, we should try and keep, we should try and destroy him. But if we can't try and destroy the symbol, uh, and then I'm gonna <laughs> just do a booming, uh, it's never let me down, booming blade. As you say that, you just see the creature's grin become wider as if it knows something that you don't. I'm sure it does. Uh, That's asshole. fucked up. Uh, <laughs> No, nope. uh, that will miss. <laughs> Never let me down. Um, that's going to be action, move, uh, no bonus actions from me. Uh, so that's me done. All right. Um, you will see this orb, this globule of what appears to be solidified blood uh, vanish within uh, their other palm of their hand as a legendary action. Uh, as their hand is bathed in this sort of shadowy flame. The creature will look on uh, specifically over to, hmm. Um, we'll go with Pandora for this one. Uh, as the creature tosses uh, this bolt of shadowy flame at disadvantage uh, because it's a ranged attack made at, uh, in with the creature in melee. A 23 will still hit. However, that critical miss may have been a problem as you take five points of shadow damage. New damage type. Shadow damage. <sighs> Pandora. Okay. Um, I yell over to Gloria and I say, are we sure we want to destroy that glyph? I'm a bit nervous about it now that he smiled. Well, like a weirdo. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I need more time, but it, it was crude conjuration. It, it, it's trying to punch a hole between here and the shadow veil. I think. That's all I'm gonna get out. Okay. Already um, familiar with my plots. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, or just kill him. Or just kill him. Yeah. Um. Fuck it. I'm gonna use uh, my ability that hasn't fucked me over yet. I'm going to use a little bit of shadow. Okay. Second level. And I'm going Jesus. to do this so it doesn't hit anyone else. <laughs> uh, you will see it just, it, you'll, you'll see the creature just hold up its hand as you conjure the magics of shattering. Um, its smile remains upon its face as it as it holds its hand out. You'll see the shattering energy to just it kind of shakes the room and vibrates a little bit, but as it holds his hand, the magic just sort of absorbs in before you see him twist his hand in a counterclockwise fashion as if he disrupted the magic itself from affecting him. So he doesn't even take half damage? Um, let me check real quick. Uh, spell does do half damage, I believe. Give me one second, please. Yeah. I, I need to check a couple of things. The way that I've already bit all of my fingernails off. <laughs> all so right. Anxious. So he will take seven points of damage. Yeah, suck on my butt. Not actually though, please. Your mouth is terrifying. All right, just um, have to end your round. Uh, 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 
<laughs> Just thinking. Yes, that ends my round. Okay. Kagami, it is your turn. I would like to cast Mirror Image. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> And that's my action, and I don't have anything innately that I can use I as a bonus action. Set it up. Set it up now. So that's my that's my setup round. Okay. So we'll get that going, and that'll be my that'll be my turn. You let me know if you need heals, Kagami. <laughs> oh, you'll know. <laughs> uh, give me one quick second. Okay, uh, Kagami just got mirror image, correct? Yep, and yes. yep, just mirror image up, and that's my whole turn. All right. Almond Gill will immediately charge in. Uh, during their charge, uh, they're going to cast a bonus action. Uh, Shalele. Uh, and then immediately as a multi attack, go in with two gnarled arms. Uh, Damn. Yeah, that's good. You want to see, Gil. Uh. Okay, uh, both will hit, dealing 14 points of damage. And that will end Almond Gill's turn of Idalia. Okay. I was wondering if I could use a bonus action to just check to make sure nothing else is, like, interfering with anything, like the tree, maybe. Uh, what are you doing? So I was wondering if I could just check the room or I know there's a sigil and stuff, but I was just yeah. wondering if the tree is doing anything. Or, if there's anything know, else, yeah. uh, you are free to roll an arcana check. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, is this a bonus action or an action? That was a bonus action. All right. You have an action remaining. Nothing else can be <laughs> learned with that uh, roll. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Well, I shall just go ahead and set up I think so I'll use my um I'll use my hunter's mark so one okay. second so uh, that a hunter's mark is a bonus action which you've just used on the arcana check oh okay so I'll just attack him then one second okay okay uh I'll shoot him uh that will miss as you'll kind of see this like rippling aura surround them, the bolt that you shoot fire at will just deflect over into a wall. I'm a little shaken up, guys. But I'm done. Oh my God. Very focused. You begin to hear like the, the sounds of bone snapping as the creature just kind of cracks its neck left and right. It flourishes with its scythe and looks uh, specifically, look, kind of like looks around a little bit and says I'll give you a choice Iodian who wishes to face me in battle who wishes to offer themselves to my blade bring it on you big uh, ugly and are you offering something in exchange that's kind of forward immediately turns over to Gloria and says perfect uh, and Shield then blade raised. you just kind of see the scythe drop down, raise back up, and then slash the side with a multi-attack of three attacks. As you just Dumb. deflect all of them, as it just... Yes. Pandora kind of screams. She's like, you go, Gloria! It's not so bad. That's horrifying. At the top of the round, uh, as a lair action, uh, you will watch as the creature kind of like hovers up into the air and with a seismic ripple uh, will vanish. Um, oh, fuck that. Not again. Uh, before uh, landing right here uh, at the underneath the tree. As, uh, the, as this creature holds out their scythe, it radiates and glows violently this sort of like purple and rupturing energy of the shadow. Um, 
as if the creature was throwing uh, their scythe, um, except as they kind of like g- do the motion with like throwing the scythe, a spectral spinning area of the scythe is uh, thrown instead. So the following will happen. One moment. Don't forget, some of you have long strider in your potions. I need Vidalia to do me a favor and make me a dexterity saving throw as you see the shadowy scythe just spinning around in that area. No. Vidalia. Well, today's not my day. Uh, I'm, I'm just checking to see if anyone else is standing. Nope, no one else is standing there. Uh, go ahead and make your dexterity save, Vidalia. Okay. Alright, that was a dexterity check. Oh yeah, you did dexterity check, oh. nice babe. My bad. Let's go. Oh my god. 19 oh. points He's of rolled. slashing damage oh. as you just see the oh. just spinning oh violently. I don't think she's rolled above a 10 this time. Uh, Ribeye, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, the, the scythe persists in that area, by the way, as it continues to spin violently. Um definitely want to keep people in his melee range because then his ranged attacks are at disadvantage. Yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll be moving up there on my next turn, so. Okay, just, I'm just saying it out loud so everybody hears it yeah. just in case people forgot. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah I, I will be trying to stick to this guy like glue uh, okay, as much good. as I can. Mm-hmm. And then like who has the long strider? I, I have one, one. And, okay, okay. Movement shouldn't be a problem for me because I have 40 feet as a monk. Right. right. Yeah, I can easily but yeah. oh it's just God. if you take damage at the start of your turn in that kelly that's the only thing to be careful in fact well, he only has a uh, wall climbing i'm pretty sure Ribeye, i yeah. have i also yeah. have like yeah. misty step and uh okay. zephyr strike that can get me out without all attacks of opportunity but <laughs> it's not my turn so <laughs> i'm gonna cast a uh, necrotic blast at him nice okay uh deflects off 10 wow. is insufficient this oh. is wild I'm trying to think where to even just go. Move up here just a little bit, and then uh, that's going to be it for my turn. All right. You probably want to also stand up for prone so you can teleport. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I I, I guess I, I, at this point, I guess it doesn't matter because I just crawled there instead. I already mm-hmm. said I ended my turn, though. No, it's fine. Would you like nothing else has happened? Nothing has happened yet. So would you like to stand up? Yes. All right. That's a legendary action. You just kind of see as you like throw the necrotic energy. Um, you'll watch as the creature holds its hand out, uh, as if to stop this bolt of magic hovering in the air. And then you'll see the creature just look at it as the grin becomes wider, looking back over at Ribeye. Allow me to be your teacher. As shadow infuses upon the necrotic blast, uh, he will toss it back at you with a shadow bolt. Uh, that will hit, dealing 10 oh, yeah. points of shadow damage. Gloria. I'm going to uh, just basically move up towards this guy. Uh, but as I do, I think I'm going to raise my sword. Uh, and while he's grinning at Ribeye, Gloria will just say something along the lines of like, what about this? And then I'm going to swing the sword and cast Magic Missile uh, as three kind of star-like be, uh, star-like kind of visages are going to fly into his face. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to move up close to him. All right. You'll have to um, uh, do me a favor because uh, Magic Missile is kind of weird. Uh, just roll 3d4 plus... Uh... Plus yeah, three. it's all going into the same target, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna split this. All oh, good. 14 points. And then I'll auto deduct Dang. from your spell slot. Uh, yeah. So as you begin to run, the four missiles uh, just repel and just <laughs> yeah impacts upon upon this this massively sized devil. Stop running! You didn't even hit me once. Does that end your round? Uh, I'm just checking my movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's my full movement to get here, I think. So, uh, 
you, yeah. you, as you, you, so you run over, you say, stop hitting you, it'd be once, and then yeah. you'll just see him just go, <laughs> of course, how rude of me. And as a legendary action, he'll drop the scythe down upon you. I uh, just want him to try and focus on me, man. Oh, like, he's focused. Uh, 22 uh, will break your armor class. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> does it though? <laughs> well, that's what I'm, I'm waiting for you. All right, is there a reaction you'd like to do? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to save that just in case it gets worse. Uh, mm -hmm. Nine points is actually pretty... Mm, you know what? Yeah, you know... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to cast Shield at first level. Uh, boost my AC to 25 to the end of my next turn. All right. The uh, Scythe will they just... Start on like, my next turn. Yeah, just break down upon the invisible shield <laughs> of force you hold up there. As you just see the creature just pushing down upon the Scythe the grid not even fading, and says, yes, <laughs> expend everything. Give me all you've got. And it just deflects back, uh, not breaking through the shield. Pandora. I told you not once. Okay, um, as a bonus action, can I uh, investigate this glyph on the ground? Uh, you can investigate or use your arcana. What are you trying to figure out? Um, I just want to know... Uh, if it would be a good idea for me to destroy it. Uh, um, yeah, feel free. Okay. Uh, my investigation, they're both plus one, so. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, with an investigation check, um, I can let you know um, like what's part of the sigil, what's going on within there. Uh, with the Arcana check, I can give you more like detail, like magic information magic. about what's happening. Okay, I'll do an Arcana then. Mm. Uh, a 12 is insufficient, unfortunately. Yeah. That's your bonus action. You have an action and move remaining. Okay. Um, I am going to um, healing word uh, Vidalia. Okay. Um, Thank you. That, that just seems like it's necessary. Uh, where is it? Da, 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 da. Right. Five hit points and, healed. And I am going to move there. Okay. Does that end your round? That ends my round. You got me. Okay. Um, I have an above board question. Yes. Does Almond Gill have the same abilities that he had during his boss encounter? You never asked him, so I can't answer that. Damn it. I should have gotten to know him better. You can ask him now. <laughs> to be to be fair, I did warn you. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. You yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm just gonna move in and start doing damage. Then is this a legal space? Can that is a up? that is a legal space. You are underneath the tree. Okay. Then longsword. I don't know if a 15 hits, but a, if it does, a 15 will hit. Let's go. I'm going to expend one of my key points to use Flurry of Blows. Boom, boom. Oh, yes. They both hit as you begin to just go in there. My man. Boy. As the acid splashes damage. and you immediately go in with the flurry of kicks and punches, uh, you'll kind of see Valmoreth's smile grin kind of like almost like twitch a little bit as if the smile fades. Feeling the pain of the of of the uh, flurry of anguish, uh, the grin forms back again, and says, "Very interesting." Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, look at him and I'll I'll uh, I'll smile back at him and says, uh, "You aren't the only one here putting on a brave face." That'll end my turn. Does that suggest you're putting on a brave face right now? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you yeah, don't know we're not ashamed form, about. You don't know what my true form looks like. <laughs> don't mess with me. I'll cry. Yeah. Uh, Almond Gill will run in and again. <sighs> uh, one will miss and the other will hit for four go, points Gil. of damage. Let's go, Gil. <laughs> Does anyone uh, else feel like he's just testing us right now? Vidalia. All right. <laughs> have we established that it's undead? We have, right? Uh, I don't think so. We don't know. At this point, yeah. I, I've made the assumption it's a fiend, uh, just based on some stuff Gil was saying, but we don't know yet. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll save that for later. All right. Uh, 
I'm gonna move down here uh, to get out of that spot. And I'll just go ahead and do my usual for now. Uh, I will cast... Sorry, this <laughs> setup is so dark. Uh, let's see. Hunter's Mark. Oh. It says I have no first level spots left. I uh, like... That is correct. You have no spells left remaining. Oh, that's a short, short rest. Oh. They don't come back on short rest. Oh, never mind that. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just going to try to attack him and put on my. Uh... I'm so stressed. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> I have no spells. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'm gonna use my bonus action again to just check the tree. I really want to check the tree because I'm tempted to hide in it now. Okay. Uh, is that, so that would be a, uh, you said Arcana, right? Correct. Okay. Arcana. Ah, <laughs> as you study I'm... the influences of the tree, the tree itself has been conjured from the Fey Wonder itself. Used as a font of magic to provide the link between Fey Wonder, Shadow Vale, and our prime plane. Oh. So I wonder if we need to protect this thing or we need to do damage to it. Uh, with the Arcana, it's it's already uh, used as sort of like a uh, a magical font of power. But more importantly and more dreadful, uh, it seems whatever ritual that was needed for the tree has already been completed. Oh, fuck. Okay. Why are we fighting this guy? Let's see. Uh, if, I'll go if ahead. You want, if you can, guys can destroy it, we can try and keep this guy busy. Uh, we want to. We, we want to destroy the tree. To, I might aim for the tree because the ritual well, already happened, though. If 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 the tree is a what is a, a ritual lit. has already happened. Oh. Yeah. My, but my understanding from Brett's answer there was that the tree is what is connecting Shadowvale, Feywonder, and Prime Plane. It's was like that an anchor point? Yeah, like an uh, anchor point. So either destroying it would either do bad things or might yeah. break that 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 connection and therefore no longer the the you know the, the planes wouldn't be at risk. I'm gonna say it might do bad things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Might. It might be like you know, like a like a steel <laughs> cable getting detached from a tether, just go crazy. I will I but will say with your critical success at Arcana, um, that it could it could help. It could oh, be I'm a boon for you, thing. yeah. That's what I'm like thinking. I'm thinking this guy's bad. drawing power, maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, well, ow. I, <laughs> hell yeah, then. Okay. Well, then, I have no spells. Cool. Uh, I'm going to attack the tree. Okay. And let me use my... All right. So you immediately start shooting at the tree. <laughs> As you just cover it um, within the bolts itself, uh, that will hit, dealing 10 points of damage. I'm like, a little swarm as well. Uh, 1d6. Ooh. All right. The swarm begins to eat away at the extremely hardy tree. Uh, you do see that you're doing damage to it. Um, however, you can tell that the tree itself uh, is extremely sturdy. <laughs> uh, make an insight check, uh, Gloria and Kagami. Okay. Oh, I'm really good at these. 14. Five. Uh, you will see. You shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> uh, you'll see as Valmoreth looks over to the tree. It's ever, it's so slight, uh, but there is a tinge of annoyance. Hmm. Noted. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say anything, so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's an important. All right. Does that end your realm? Yep. All right. Valmoreth would look over uh, back to Gloria and smiles and says, Are you ready to Come experience me, pain? Come at me. <laughs> uh, before holding up the scythe, spinning it around in his hand and says, Tell me, you would do anything for your friends, wouldn't you? I say nothing. 
Your silence means everything. Uh, before dropping the scythe, turning immediately to Kagami and... Okay. Let's go. Mirror image. Well, um, yeah. Yeah, I, the 20 and the 19 hit. So now I'm going to do some rolls to see if they hit a duplicate. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll a d20 on the first attack. If it hits, a, if I do roll a six or higher, it hits a duplicate. It does. I'm down to two duplicates. The 12 misses me. The 19 hits me. I'm going to roll a d20. I have to roll an eight or higher for it to hit a duplicate. And I do. So, so one, duplicate. one duplicate. As it just slashes up and down, you just see your images being uh, just hit one after another um, before he turns his entire focus over to you and says, you're far more interesting. I guess you could say I'm more than meets the eye. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Put that on a shirt. Uh... At the end of the uh, at the end of the initiative, or actually at the top of the round, as a lair action, um, it'll smile. Uh, you'll just kind of see uh, Val Moret's grin grow wide again, uh, and the scythe begins to the circular scythe begins to move around the room in a clockwise fashion. Oh no! That's oh, no. fucking awesome, dude. I, that's I feel so bad for Kelly, but holy shit, that's cool. Leave uh, me alone. I need a uh, I need a dexterity save specifically uh, from Vidalia. Uh, God this... damn it! Damn it! Well, I would say we, we, we know where it's going yeah, next. We know so where it's going Pandora next. So Pandora and okay, Ribeye. Dexter. Yeah. We we gotta shift around. Hell yeah, not Ooh. anymore. You will take uh, half damage, eight points of slashing. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, ribeye. All right. Uh, let me see. What was it uh, after you moved the distance to, to confirm that you want to go there? Space. Uh, space. But there with that, you are moving through the scythe. So I will need you, as you enter the area, the scythe begins to... I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. God damn it. If you are looking to move around uh, the areas, I don't have to have you move manually, please. Okay, I can, I can, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Because I can't, uh, I can't, I, I can't assume how you're going to move. Yeah, right, Foundry right. just measures the shortest path. Gotcha, Correct. gotcha. You can yeah. that way. So, so I started here. Um, if I go diagonally this way, is that still cut, cutting? Is that that will cut through the square? The square? Yes, okay. that is correct. So it actually, you, it's basically you spend 10 feet of movement to, to get there because you go up yep. one and then to the side, yeah. And that is the only um, warning you will get from here on out. Okay. Thank you, Brett. And then 15, 20, 25, 30. Cries. <laughs> and then uh, balls. <laughs> and then uh, whimpers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my trombone. Nice. And blow it on the tree. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna play the uh, the, the tune that Lanky Kong plays in Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Very specific. There you go. All right. So, uh, yeah, you begin to just blow, as you just see fire ignite from the trombone. <laughs> As the tree itself begins to ignite, uh, that's going to be... Okay. Uh, as you see the tree uh, now lit a flame. I'm just going to do that. Give me one second. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the tree is now just lit on fire. Just... <laughs> Um, it's still extremely sturdy, but you see it begin to, uh, you, you see it begin to, uh, burn down a little bit. Gloria. <coughs> uh, Gloria will just staying, uh, I'll do it this way, 5, 10. I'm just going to shift round, mm -hmm. um, to this side. And uh, it's never let me down. Boom, blade. Okay. I have to 
do it in a certain order because otherwise, you know, it doesn't mm -hmm, work. Mm -hmm, Never. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that will be a critical miss. Um, Never as, let me down. As you go in for the stab, you just oh, Valmoreth just immediately just upward slashes with the bottom of the uh, twin scythe, uh, hitting Stop. for ten Ooh. points of damage. Straight up kill. Yeah, I can't actually uh, can't do anything about that this time. Uh, so that's ten to me. Uh, in that case, as he does that, I'm going to spend my action search. <laughs> um, and da -da -da. Uh, I'm going to actually cast this time uh, Sword Burst, mm. um, which is a deck saving throw, uh, any creature within five feet of me. So as like he knocks wah, wah. the sword up, uh, as it reaches up into the air, spectral blades appear around Gloria and sort of slash around her in like a, a spinning maneuver. As you see, you can kind of like step off to the side a little bit, um, taking the hit. Uh, uh, Valmoreth will suffer a disadvantage uh, to your next uh, sword burst. Next. I will keep doing right. that then. Um, uh, and that is me done. Insane. Uh, actually, um, oh, we don't know what Almond Gills are. I was going to say as a bonus action. I will, just as a bonus action, you know, shout a warning to Almond Gill, like, move over to this side, Gill. Don't stay where you are. That that site's going to spin round. And I'll basically try and get him to come over to, uh, how do I do a ping? Is it shift or is it? Uh, hold uh, down just, just hold down the mouse click. Uh, try and get him to, like, move over to this side, yeah, basically. Very um, well. Uh, you'll see, uh, so on Almond I've got nothing Gil's... else to use my bonus action. Yeah, with, so as uh, on Almond going. Gill's turn, as commanded, we'll move over here. Oh, okay. Okay. And, then, and then as a legendary action, you see him turn around um, and with the upper top of the scythe drop down uh, over on Gloria, missing Pandora. Okay, um, I yell over to Vidalia. Do you have one of my potions? You're kind of far away from me. I do have potions, yeah. Okay, um, all right. Um, I am going to... Uh, Oh God, why did that move me? Sorry, that moved my camera. Okay, and then I am going to use Magic Missile. Mm -hmm. um, and I am going to uh, hit, um, I get three missiles and I get to choose where each of them hit, yeah? Uh, correct, I'm gonna roll a 2d4 plus two uh, to add on to the damage. That'll be okay. uh, 11 points of damage. Uh, where are the missiles okay. hitting? Um, I'd like to hit, uh, should I focus more on the tree or should I focus more on him? Pussy. You do what you think Pandora would do. I, okay. I think at this point, it, it's okay. I think they're okay. both good options. Yeah, yeah. kind of, kind yeah. of up, up in the air at this point. The tree's currently on fire, so I'm assuming it's... This is just an assumption. I assume it's going to take damage over time, but yeah. we'll see. Um, I'll do two on him and one on the tree. Uh, okay. Uh, two on him, uh, which, uh, okay, so you're doing two on him. I'll do the first missiles, uh, so that'll be three plus three. That'll be six points of damage dealt, uh, okay. to, to him. Uh, and then five points of damage dealt to the tree. As we begin to see it, just begin to break apart. And, um, uh... I'm going to check the range on this really, really fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can actually do it. Fuck it. I don't want, I don't want to risk it. I'm going to, with my bonus action, healing word by Dahlia. Yeah. Unfortunately, you cannot because oh. uh, it's a oh, numbered spell. Well, no, because it's a numbered spell. You can't cast two uh, numbered spells in one round. You can oh, do a cantrip okay. and a numbered spell, but you can't do uh, two numbered spells in one round. Understood. Then that's the end of my turn. All right, and then as a legendary action, turns over and says, tell me, are you afraid? Are you, are you talking to me? It's looking straight at you. <laughs> yeah, um, always, 24-7. You want a real honest, uh, real honest answer? Absolutely. Hmm, good. And then throws the shadow bolt at you. <laughs> Uh, that'll break your armor class, even at disadvantage yeah. for eight points of shadow damage. Kagami. Ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna move over here. 
and I'm gonna turn to face him. Oh, look at Pandora. He's like, for future reference, you're supposed to say no to that. Well, it's not like, you know, he'd believe me. Fair enough. <laughs> Long sword, acid damage. Gonna spend another key point and. Man, imagine hitting another, with your melee attacks every time. Imagine. <laughs> we have the same attack point. No, just imagine it though. God, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine hitting with your attack rolls? Uh, both hit. 10 points. Of, uh, oh, actually, no. The 14. Oh, yeah, no, that hits. Yeah, 10 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's my turn then. Uh, Almond Gil will do as instructed, uh, move over here and will attack uh, with two gnarled arms. Uh, with a critical miss, uh, Val Marith will look over and say, ah, oh, the puppet, uh, before attacking uh, with their scythe as a counterattack. Just to check, does is this, cre is this a fiend? Uh, when it attacks? Uh, just because uh, while I still have protection from good evil on, on Almond Gill, so if it's a fiend, it has disadvantage. Correct. I mean, I I'm, I'm, don't know if the 12 still hits. Okay, so, okay. Right. So. I was just checking. So. Hey. All right. Uh, it will miss. Uh, uh, Almond, uh, Almond Gill will hit with a couple. And then Vidalia, it's now your turn. All right. What I'm going to do... Uh, since I have spider climb, I guess the secret's gonna be out with Pandora now. But the the scythe's kind of like on the ground, right? For the most part, hitting everyone. It's on a the it's a it's a shadowy form of the scythe just spinning around the area. Yeah, I feel like I'd do better if I was up in the shadows or something. So I'm gonna like my movement is gonna be just like this direction, um, and then like up on the wall, like up on the ceiling, like hanging down. Uh, how would you get on the ceiling? I'll have to have you actually run over to a wall to do that. You can't just yeah, appear up on the climb. ceiling. No, I understand yeah, you have spider climb, but you have to have actually a way to get up there, which means yeah. you have to. So where, you, where you are right oh. now, is it, is it a wall? Is it a wall? Is That's it like correct. Oh, uh, no. Run up the wall these are the, falling. The, the these are right here. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you just ran straight through, Kelly. So you need to go to a wall first and then up and along it, basically. Okay. So okay. that would take some of your movement away. So if you were like here ish, I think. Yeah. Uh, so you, I would go like uh, one, like two, 15. Like you could come down to like this uh, corner over here and then try and get along to the side and maybe get up to about here. But you would need to come down to the edge of the wall first and then you can get up onto the, the side. Yeah, you still have to walk up the wall to get there. Okay, so I, all right, let me see. So all, the other like thing, all the other thing is just move over to our side now and then next turn go up onto the ceiling. Okay. All right, so I'll just go over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then next yeah. turn, like you could basically go to that wall behind you and use okay. that to get up on the ceiling. Yeah, all right, and then I'll go ahead and use one of my potions because I'm hurt. <laughs> okay, so that's, a me... that's a bonus okay. action to drink your own potion. Oh, okay, all right, one second. Sorry, my, my thing's being all weird. That's okay, would you like me to use the potion for you? Uh, sure, yeah. All right, you heal for four hit points. Oh, God. All right. And so I still have an action left? You do. Okay, then I'll go ahead and attack the tree. I was going to get in there and, like, chop it down, but now it's on fire, so it's probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's probably the fire's going to be more worth on it anyway. Uh, All right. Okay, so I'm going to attack and then use my swarm. Okay. Uh, you begin to away. see. You see the begin to see the tree withering away. Oh, it's working, Good. guys. We're getting it down. Okay, I'm done. Uh, Valmarith. Mm. You gonna go for somebody easier this time? Still haven't hit me properly. <laughs> Would you like me to hit you, Lagoban? You can try. I just want him to attack me. Just attack me. Stop attacking <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> Valmaris is going to do a silent insight. My face is bleeding. Valmaris stares down over on Gloria with a smile I mean, across their face. Yeah, he, she is desperately trying to, like, just taunt him into attacking <laughs> her. Like, 
very obviously. Your desperation is palpable. Mm-hmm. I think you would be at peace if you were to sacrifice your well-being for your friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> However, uh, you'll see him turn over specifically to Pandora. Which one? I'll let you decide, looking back at Gloria. Which one should reach the chopping block? The tree man. <laughs> I, 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 I look I, at him. You say and I that? Say, yeah, I, yeah, I would absolutely. I'd say I, I would like almost. And, uh, I wouldn't uh, be trying to deceive it. I'd just be like, try and hit almond kill. And then he smiles and says, <laughs> Look at you. Looking over at Elman Gill specifically. A pawn. Hmm. <laughs> Not a pawn. We are all friends here. Well, this one has been chosen. Very well. Uh, turning straight over to Alman Gill and attacking three times at disadvantage with the scythe. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm hoping that my wards can protect him a little bit. That's uh, the main se- thing. Seven points of damage will be dealt. Oh, it does protect him, though, with that disadvantage from that and that 20, yeah. though. Yeah. Uh, uh, before brandishing the scythe and says, quite impressive. Thank you for playing my game. Uh, top of the round, you're going to see the scythe uh, immediately move over here. Was that in chat? Is that what you just did? Mm-hmm. Sorry, what you- I, my, found, my foundry is uh, not posting what you just put in chain. Then you will need to refresh. You might be disconnected okay. from the server. Okay. All right. The scythe moves around, uh, not hitting anyone. Uh, Ribeye is currently our turn. All right. Uh, everyone's looking a little, uh, a little worse for wear here a little bit. So why don't we go ahead and start off with uh, with a mantle of inspiration just to get those temporary hit points back up. Uh, let me double check. Uh, Mantle of Inspiration right, takes your back. Bardic Inspiration, correct? Yes. You regain your Bardic Inspirations on a long rest? I believe... Oh, I'm out, aren't I? Uh, I well, it wasn't deducting, that's why I'm, I'm double-checking. Oh, oh, oh. Um, as a bonus action within 60 feet for 10 minutes, the creature... It's long rest until, I think, like, level 6, and then you get ah, back gotcha. rest. Ah, gotcha. Long rest. Uh, then, you, this is, you've used three so far, including that one, so this will be your last one, I believe. Okay. Yep. Uh, applying it to everybody, mainly for the temporary hit points, but if they want to use the reaction to move, they are more than welcome to. Yeah, Pandora, you might... Uh, can I do that? Uh, yes. Yep, you can move as well. Right. Okay, so I can, I can move. Up. Yep. yep, you could you could use your reaction to move if you want to try and get behind me, Cooley. Okay. Yeah, Somewhere I think I'm gonna try to climb here. up the ladder on the ceiling. All right, I'm going to need you, Kelly, to walk to the ceiling that you're walking up there, so I know uh, which turn what what we're deducting, uh, and then we're gonna go okay. from there. Uh, so here. Oops, sorry. Like Ten feet to the right. Uh, yeah. Jump. Moving over here is a double movement. Just FYI. Oh, is it? Yes, it is, because you have to get over that ledge. Oh. Uh, Double movement as in this is 10 feet. And then oh. you're good. Yeah, that's fine. And then 10, 15. Because yeah. then you, on your turn, you'll get more movement. It's it's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. 10, 15, and then you can go 15 feet up. The and then you'll be 15 way. feet up the ceiling once you arrive here. Is that how you'd like yeah. to do it? Yep. Yeah. All yeah. right. You are now 15 feet up in the air. Thank you. Sorry. I was confused about no, the Oh, you're good. Yeah. If you want to spider climb up a wall, you actually have to get to the wall first kind of like imagine how you do that you know what i mean yeah yeah okay uh five 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 i'm just making sure everyone's there everyone's uh moved the way they want to move correct um yes. this is gonna be a bad turn for the smedic scythe <laughs> well i think it uh, yeah so next turn it will go up to the top so because yeah. it's already moved this turn i think so it should in next turn go up here uh so we want to kind of shift and okay. I'll save I'm my expecting reaction. he's going to have a bullshit move where he reverses the direction it's going in or something. <laughs> that, might like, be, that might be it. Or he might teleport back to the other say, side yeah, again. He can teleport. Yeah, I think he's definitely going to teleport at some point. But it, it, it's Ribeye's turn, so the lair action's already gone, I think. So. Yep. Uh, and at a at a quick glance, not like a check, but like just just based on what I can what I can see, what is how's the tree looking? Uh, the tree is burning and it's withering away. 
there's anything Kagami like for that uh, mantle of inspiration movement you could you could start backing off basically if you wanted to like because the thing's gonna move around yeah, yeah I don't know if you've got ranged attacks I do technically but they're not nearly as, as good, good. Mm. I'm going to take a take a brazen risk here and use the trombone on the tree again okay I mean, it definitely is doing something. Yeah. I mean, it's fire on a tree. <laughs> Let's see. So you'll go ahead and blow more fire upon the tree. Spicy. And then we're going to do... Oh, that looks sick. All right, and you just see the tree is just at this point, just beginning to almost fall down. As a reaction to this, uh, you will see him teleport onto the tree as the scythe will then recall uh, back. Oh boy. And your round will immediately end because of the following. Oh no. Oh, you activated phase two. He stands upon the tree as you begin to see it rupture and tear apart. Uh, you begin to see it slowly, almost as if it's falling out. And as it's doing that, you see the fey energy just beginning to leak and sever out of that. The rune itself over here uh, begins to break apart. And then, uh, and then, uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Sorry, there's so much I'm looking at. Man, oh, Pandora's pants fill with it. shit. All right, give me one moment, please. It's cool, man. It's all good. I uh, distract. Red by voids, his non-existent bowels. All right. Uh, so as Valmorith will literally teleport on top of the tree as the tree begins to snap and break around um, before uh, the what grin becomes wider. <laughs> good, good. I didn't think the first attempt at making another breach would be so successful. Oh, boy. And you have proven it such. Oh, you've won this day, I audience. But I assure you that I will be taking you with me to a land of wonderment. All right. Phase two begins uh, as you oh, will fuck. see him don a crimson mask across his face. And I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Yes. Ah, uh, there's no combat active. Yeah. There will yeah, now be a combat active. Please roll initiative. Uh, oh shit on my deck, dude. All right. Ribeye, what do you do? Uh, this is a new round of combat, right? Uh, this is a brand new encounter, so yes. So, which means the reaction that he used to get on top of the tree didn't actually take his reaction? I, uh, I, this is a brand new encounter. You have to go ahead and make your own conclusions, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> Stand right here, man. Uh. Oh, man. All right, no more bardic inspirations for now. Uh, where is I, his advantage? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I don't know if Fred's yeah, still on purpose. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. We're back. Okay, okay. We, just, we were just checking because there's a lot of moving parts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a lot of moving farts, because I'm nervous. Ribeye. <laughs> uh, I've taken quite a bit of damage, so I'm going to use the necromancy potion. Also, okay. his health bar is blue, y'all. He has temporary hit points, too. Uh, you will heal for three hit points. And that was a... Uh... That's a bonus action to do that? Uh, correct. Okay. Uh... Gordon, I'm gonna smack him with the frying pan. Okay. Of course Ribeye fucking hits. Of course Ribeye hits with melee attack. Why wouldn't he? Okay, one second. Uh, as you, a big hug. As you smack uh, him with the uh, frying pan, uh, you will see the crimson mask that is, that is upon him. Uh, one moment. Will transform into a uh, mask of azure. Oh boy! Uh, What's that mean? 
Uh, Rabbi. The color changed. Is, is there that any... what you mean? Any different defenses against magic or uh, physical? Rabbi? Uh... Is your turn over? You've used your yes. bonus action action. By Dahlia. <laughs> like, yes? By Dahlia. It's my turn. Oh, God. Yeah, initiative swap round. <laughs> okay. Can I... Can I use my bonus action to see what the heck the colors are, maybe? Investigation, Arcana, or Religion. Okay, so... Checks. Investigation's the Wisdom one, right? No, no Investigation's I... Intelligence. Uh, okay. Well, I'll go ahead and use Arcana since I did okay last time. All right, 18. Okay. Hey. Uh, you see the mask itself correlates with the area as you kind of see this this the entire room of the area glows a violent crimson red. Uh, you notice that uh, synergy specifically uh, nullifies the effects of this spell. Synergy. What does that mean? Once the spell goes off. A synergy will nullify the effect of this spell. That's all I can give you for now. That is your bonus it action. Dam- it might be damage types to color, so he's got a That's blue mask, so maybe yeah. frost damage or like or, or just our comment, or just like magic. Or just magic, spell. yeah. That's like, what I thought. I need you. I to, uh, sorry we've for the high been. high stress. I should have warned you for yeah. this, but I will need you to decide, or I'll be skipping your turn. Decide what? Oh, your, your turn. turn. Your action. Oh. Or I sure. will be skipping. Okay, I'm gonna attack. Sorry, I thought you were supposed to. No, no, it's fine. It's a, I, I should have warned you. This is a stressful part, so I'm gonna be rushing you guys oh, just okay. to really amplify the stress. Okay, okay. Here you go. Uh, an 11 uh, will miss. Done. Does that end your round? Okay, Kagami. All right. Uh, Julie, you're in deck after this. I know. Two, I just don't want to do it. Five feet over here. I have a theory. Let's see if this, if what Kagami does. Acid lung it. sword. Miss. Miss. Flurry of blows. I'm down to one key point after this, but it's worth. Yeah. Boom, boom. Miss and boom. miss. Don't God. forget, you get one normal yeah. arm strike, so save that key point. Well, it, 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 yeah. Does that end your round? Yeah. Pandora. Okay. Um, I am going to move to Kelly and uh, yeah. Um, can I thunderclap him from here? Is it within the range of the spell? It has to be, if it's thunderclap, it's within five feet. If it's thunder wave, it's like a 10 foot cube from you. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to move to him then. Okay. (gasps) <gasps> and I'm going to thunderclap because I, I feel like we have to do some sort of magic to him. Yeah, I'm going to try as well. If this doesn't work, I've got a, I've got a uh, cantrip I can use. All right. A constitution save will need to be made. Success, no damage dealt. This is redonkulous. Okay. 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 And then, um, uh, and I, I'm going to... Move one back, or I guess okay. I can't now. So no, I'll stay here. Gloria. All right. Uh, so for pure visual, like this is uh, for style points as well. I'm gonna stow my shield, and I'm dual wielding uh, the sword and my magic rod from now on, mm-hmm. uh, just because I don't want to be swapping around. And the first thing is gonna be a ray of frost uh, towards this guy. 16 All right. To hit. Uh, 16 will break the armor class um, as damage is inflicted. You will see the... You will see um, as a reaction to damage being dealt or rather a response on an actual reaction. uh, His azure mask will become crimson red matching the area around them. Okay, so hopefully that will synergize. So now I'm like glorious full Elden Ring, by the way, with a long sword and a rod in each hand, one in each hand. <laughs> and then I'm going to move next to this guy, but I'm actually going to move uh, to the opposite side just so I can ready to uh, sword 
burst oh. if I need to. Actually, I kind of want to. Be... No, I need to be here uh, just in case. So yeah, I'm just before trying... before you before you oh. end your turn. Uh, yep. we're we're gonna we're gonna try and keep him the same color as the room, right? I think that's the idea. I think the synergy nullifies the spell. Like, yeah, we need to keep him the same color as the room. Like, make we, sure I to, could be wrong, but make sure to tell Alman Gil not to attack him. Uh, yeah, I in that yeah, I will do that then as a bonus yeah, action. Alman Gil is holding their action, um, and will only go at the end of the round. So, um, okay. but Alman Gil won't be doing anything. Does that end your round? Yes, I am gonna end my turn there. Uh, you will see as Valmoreth will hold up uh, the red orb with the crimson mask. The crimson mask donned across his face will then lift up into the air as you just kind of see this this unholy surge of, uh, of rippling magic just thrust around the area um, as a massive explosion will just sort of peer through the area. Okay, so maybe it, was, maybe it was wrong then. Maybe we've got to be opposites. Yeah, I'm so confused. I'm going to be as, so honest. As the yeah. fire... I'm not done yet, guys. As okay, the fire sorry, sorry. ruptures and explodes around the area, uh, it will then use the ability of a crimson rupture. Uh, 29 shadow damage. However, Val Marath is wearing the crimson mask. This deals no damage as the oh, mask drops. Okay. There it is. Okay. There it is. <laughs> it's like 29 damage. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Someone I'm explain. Oh, got it. I'm confused. So Someone the room, explain. the room is crimson right now, so which I'm assuming lets him use his crimson abilities. And because he's wearing the crimson mask and using the crimson ability, it cancels out. Yes. Basically, oh. keep him the same color as the room. Same so color like keeps the him the color. So I think uh, melee damage makes him red. Yeah. yeah. All right. Or, or it could be melee and magic damage. All but right. Either, either uh, way, at, we'll figure at, out. At the top of the round, as a uh, as a lair action, uh, you'll begin to see him hold a orb of azure, as the entire room will now uh, glow. Uh, one moment, please. Will glow a deep blue. We still need to deal damage to him as well. Ribeye. Yeah, I don't have any stuff. We also don't know if it's uh, melee or magic, or if it's yeah. just every We should time. test it out. I am gonna. Maybe. I am just gonna try to deal uh, as much damage to him as possible at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, we still uh, need to damage him. I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whisper on him. Okay. At uh, first level. Okay. Uh, he will succeed. Is it half damage? Yes. On a failed save, uh, on a sexual save, sorry, yeah, half damage. All right. Uh, so, uh, gonna take five points of damage, uh, and then you're going to see a crimson mask uh, adorn across his face. Okay. So it should every just time. be every time. Yeah. All right, Ribeye, does that end your round? Yes. Vidalia. Vidalia hits. Okay, Vidalia. Ugh. Okay, so it's blue now. And if it's what I think, where, like, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I, this is good because I can hit either two or three times. Yeah, just just try and attack him and leave it. It will basically yeah. be down to Kagami, me, and okay. Kuli to try and yeah. match him. Like you, okay, and, okay. you and Tom you should just try and can. hit him as much as you mm -hmm. can. All right, all right. Here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack him then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, eighteen will hit dealing five points of damage. Uh, you will see the, the crimson mask fall down across his face as an azure mask will be donned. The, the swarm damage. So now his stuff is canceled out. Okay, so, yeah, cool. We want to, by the end of the turn, we want to try and make sure that he is the same color as the room. Yeah, I'm done. That's oh. all I'm gonna... All right. Okay. Mechanic, by the way. Kagami. I love it. It's cool. One thing we haven't tested as well is if it only changes once per player's turn or if it oh, changes at every source We're of We're going to find that out. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, that, critical fail. Yeah, that will miss. Uh, no response given. Okay, I will use my bonus action on arm strike. I'm going to save my last key point. 12. Miss. Damn it. Fuck. Uh, okay. I I I Should do. I use melee or or a uh, spell? What do it, you think? You can, you can use whatever you think. I don't think it matters. Yeah, it's just okay. every time he takes damage, it seems to shift him. Okay. I will say, um, if you switch him to red, he goes it, at the end of the round, which yeah. means that Gloria has to, has hit. to hit. 
Yeah. Which I do believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. We got to do damage okay. to him as well. We we, yeah. we still have to try and do damage to him. So how's your how's your health, Gloria? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Fuck it. If you if you need to heal heal uh, Miss Vidalia. Nope. I'm gonna hit him, but it's gonna hit you too. Oh, that's fine. Well, that's fine. <laughs> hey, that's my job. Uh, succeeds, takes seven points of damage. The Azure Mask becomes Crimson again. Shit. That's fine. I also saved. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm shitting bricks, you guys. All I'm right. my desk into a standing desk. Does that end <laughs> your round? Uh, uh, yeah, it does, unfortunately. Gloria. Okay, uh, dis I, I don't know if he still has it. I'm going to sword burst again. He did have disadvantage on it from the natural mm -hmm. one before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will be made at a disadvantage. 15, success. Oh, Shit. Uh, I do not have my action surge. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, ba -ba 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 uh, no, 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 don't you apologize. I'm the one who missed. It's it's not on you at all. You, We've got to do damage. Yeah, I, there's literally nothing I can do. All right. Edelman Gill. Uh, yeah, I'll bonus action command Almond Gill to attack. Almond Gill will nod, and at the end of the round, we'll strike with the gnarled arm of Almond Gill. Great, great shout. Sorry, uh, great shout. That'll hit, dealing oh, 10 points of boy. damage. <laughs> uh, he will not attack again, understanding what you're attempting to do. Right, as the right. mask will drop down, Azure once again. Oh, yeah. The round I'm crying again. <laughs> as the round ends, uh, he will hold up the, the uh, Azure mask with the orb. As you will see a sudden surge of energy and magic, just <laughs> magic ruptures forward with an azure rupture. However, because he wears not the crimson mask, but the azure mask, um, it will deal no damage. As the magic slowly drop, you realize from the energies rupturing all around from the, uh, the magics attached to his mask, uh, he will let out a, a menacing grin as you feel something pulling and tugging towards you. As you begin to see him glow a bright light, he'll smile to himself and say, this has been most fascinating. I was hoping another chapter for you, and it seems that will be. You may have stopped the breach from forming, but at what sacrifice? Your heroes, after all, a noble sacrifice is just. And as he says that, you see his form just tear asunder um, as the rupture he has been covering with his form as a distraction swallows up uh, into the portal as everyone in the room begins to be pulled uh, within. And I need <sighs> everyone to roll a charisma saving throw, please. Charisma. Correct. Yes. All right. Say this is just me, like so. I I don't know what's gonna happen, and maybe this is the mm -hmm. point to say. But if there is a way, like if we're looking like we're about to be sucked into this hole or something mm -hmm. like that, or like it looks like it's gonna be bad, mm -hmm. I still have my reaction. What? Is there any way that Gloria can like block this thing with her body, or like give the others a bonus or something? Like you will have to succeed at your charisma okay. save, and at that okay. point, that's, I will let you fine. know. <laughs> Vidalia fails, oh, Pandora <laughs> fails, Kagami fails, what? Ribeye 15. fails, and Gloria what? fails. Fails, as, damn. As the, as the tear opens larger and wider, uh, you all are pulled almost as if uh, targeted by a banishment spell, but the gate itself pulls you into an area unknown. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Fair enough. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I have tears streaming down my face again. <laughs> a silence follows over all of you as this raw magic, this sort of bastardization of shadow and arcane uh, almost begins to tear apart at your form. This almost feels as if it is the end for each and every one of you. A hero's death, perhaps earned. But your story is not finished. As you appear on the other side into the Fey Wonder. And that well. is where we will end today's session. Of Fucking March A. On Fey Wonder. 
That was a lot of stuff, dang. Ooh, look at that yeah. map. Guys, we, hit, we hit session four in his notes. We did it. We did it. Yeah, dude. And look around. You have made it to Fey Wonder. It's pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm crying again. God damn it. <laughs> Man, that was, uh, that was a tense one for sure. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, give me one second. Wait, is Gil here with us? Or, um, sorry to ask again. I guess you will have to find out on the next <laughs> session. <laughs> oh, bum, bum, bum. Not my best friend, Brett. <laughs> and Delta. I thought the kobold was your best friend. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do a charisma save. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what we can go by. We can assume that it was everybody in the room for now. Yeah. That Gut was affected by what just happened. We can only hope that Gekla is... <laughs> Alive <laughs> and well. <laughs> He's vibing on the other side. He's just... I love, I love this map. We're gonna, like, we're, 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 we're gonna take our march on Feywonder and he's gonna be the first person we see. Gekla. <laughs> Gekla oh, just... Lot, wait, wait, oh, no, you trade! Uh, sorry. Oh, this map is so cool. It is. Yeah. Uh, you will I love uh, you can, like, sort of see like where it overlays like mm -hmm. normal region map. As uh, all veils do, they yeah. take characteristics from the prime plane. Really? I like the uh, I like the 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 names of everything here too. Like the, the waiting peaks just sounds so like so fantasy. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so good. Love me a fantasy name Art. place. Umbral oh. thicket. Oh, there I want to go is. fishing in that lake of fallen stars. Uh, give me one second. My apologies. Night Vale's Vigil. That sounds cool. Uh, see here. The Grim Fade Brush. Mm -hmm. Glen Morrow Deep. Proper Scotland there. Glen Morrow. If you had a chance to change your feet, would you? I'd Can't change my feet. In this map as well. If I could change my feet, I would. As your victory, you, you may get a sneak peek at the custom made theme Whoa. of the Fey Wonder not... World map. Joyous. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, this map's kind of sexy. <laughs> it's yeah. my two favorite colors, so. Nice. All right. Great job. Bretimus. Good uh good session, folks. Good sessions. Very yeah. Good. We're all still good alive. Job. And that's all I can ask for personally. Mm. Sorry you I'm yelling. No, you're good. You're excited. <laughs> I I I I appreciate that. Uh but yeah, you guys have arrived at Fey Wonder. Um torn asunder and the ritual to start for the creation of the second breach has been stopped. Uh but as far as the fiend of shadow who was not defeated, but seemed to have been pulled in with you all. Your uh, your fight is not yet over. Man, wild. Good Can session. I, I just want a big big shout out to the boy Cypher here, because that I had completely forgotten about Armand Gill, and that was <laughs> such a clutch fucking save, dude. Mm, like remembering yeah. that. Like, As a, I had completely forgotten about him. As a uh, as a bonus action too. That's the that's yeah. the that's mm -hmm. the re that's the real pog. Sorry for the. Give me one second, gang. Sorry for the the broken uh, map. Uh, we've got. Let me go ahead and do a screen share for you Fred, all. I'm gonna ask the question. Hmm. What's the question? Did we level up? Uh, <laughs> the answer oh, oh. is is no. You have not leveled oh. up yet. So the way level up uh, ups work. Understand. Uh, we'll have a great day. Yeah. Uh, the way level ups work uh, you, is that you are cur <laughs> you you guys are actually currently synced with the rest of the parties for levels. Uh, so oh, okay. once fifth level has been unlocked for all of the parties, then you will have access to it. Oh. Uh, once that is there, yeah. So that way, all the parties are relatively the That's same cool. level at all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, if uh, another campaign starts and they're a lower level, they'll quickly catch up uh, to mm. everyone else's level. So uh, I will tell you, fifth level is approaching uh, pretty soon. So yes. uh, get ready for that. That's good news for the uh, audience. Bongo time. Uh, Almond Gill leaves the party, death or otherwise. Nope. Party finishes exploring the castle. Uh, well, yep. Well, we did, we, we did get him. Uh, as far as I can tell, we are separated from him right now. 
We I don't will, know until next time. I will I leave that square unchecked. <laughs> a mystery. Uh, phase two reference. Uh, they, kind they, of. They mentioned the yeah. breach a thousand years ago. Yep, the breach a thousand years ago, which is what happened. That was the end of phase two. It was the first Shadows breach when everyone faced against the Lords of Shadow. Uh, Azure, uh, I'm sorry, not Azure, I'm sorry, uh, Ashura being one of them. Uh, yeah, I was gonna so, say, people seem to know who Ashura was, and like uh, having like a seer of Ashura did seem like they were kind of an important figure. Uh, yep, they are one of the kind of like you know how D and D has uh, devil lords. Ashura is mm -hmm. one of them. Nice. So yeah, um, and uh, that one definitely our, had that. Our boys, uh, Cyfry and uh, Tom, their phase two characters actually were a fundamental part in killing uh, one of the lords of shadow. Oh, one of the eight I lords dealt of shadow. I killing blow on one of them. Yep. Nice. Yeah, nice. That's cool. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the uh, battle with Ashura is up on YouTube, uh, who actually had the same uh, strats of red and blue, where if if uh, Ashura was red and the attack was red, nothing happened. And it was a constant. And you are right. You guys mm. figured it out. It was any damage inflicted uh, yeah. switches the colors. Switches so. It. Yeah, so you guys did pretty good with that one. Uh, Nat one, Nodders, Fayblood Goblins, Nopers, uh, Boss Encounter, Nodders. Kagami shows creditless behavior. I'm gonna say yes. yeah. Very I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna say super yes on that one. Uh, oh, Nat twenty. We... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nat nope, twenty. More skeleton encounters. Yep. Fae Wonder yep. Lore. Yep. That's a bongo. That's a bingo. There go. A bongo. No camp RP. Yep. Kagami ribeye moment. Nopers. Yep. Yeah. What? Yeah. They did. He kissed him. It was, uh, yeah, the, the kiss right, of life. Right, he said someone could give me like, the kiss of life, you. and then I like, took right. the potion and said, That's the moment. You. you are right. You're right. Uh, Kikami, Kikami makes money. Yes. Nope, I did, oh, wait, but I did gave you? it back up. Oh. I made uh, money, but well, then I money gave was it away. Well, money yeah. was made. Money was indeed was made. Yeah, yeah, money was indeed made. It doesn't mean that you, even though that you lost it right away, money was indeed made. Uh, craft RP. Unfortunately, no. No craft no. RP today. Shadow Veil lore. We got some uh, um, the Shadow Veil bit. lore. Yep. Uh, Pandora Vidalia moment. Yeah, my back. I mean, she gave me potions. She gave me uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to say no purse on that. I'm, uh, we're going to need a little more. Yeah, it wasn't, more it wasn't that. as strong. Yeah. Uh, Estranian orc lore. Estranian. Help. Help. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank. Uh, Gloria swears. I mean, uh, maybe someone I misspelled it. This time. Yeah. Uh, Gloria did no uh, uh, Astrana. I don't. My brain is uh, low. <laughs> Astrana sounds familiar, though. I think there was something cook, about so like no the orcs pay. and like their ties. It wasn't, to it wasn't like there. anything massive. This one, I think it's definitely yeah. a no. E either either way, no. Was a, this time around, all we saw was an orc skeleton go a different route than we were going. Oh my god, you're right. Uh, oh, 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 that's why I, I'm. Uh, uh, the the spelling is Ustrana with a U. That's what threw me off. I was like, it sounds familiar, but I'm curious as to what that is and i was like oh ustrana yeah uh, astrana is the uh with a u uh but that's i love how you said astranian Ooh, very good uh new recipe named nopers death saving throws nopers no one went down that's mm -hmm. amazing uh flirting rp was there any flirting like you call that kagami ribeye moment flirting <laughs> yes well, he gave me the kiss. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you said, give me the kiss of life. Uh, uh, did I, I'll give another one to give me the kiss of life. And then Kagami did, went, I'll kiss you. Did Kagami say, I'll kiss you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, flirting RP it is. Uh, Racklings are Maybe encountered. Nope, uh, there definitely was a dude and definitely a worry about uh, yep. there. Yo, mm -hmm. we did pretty good. Good job today, guys. Good bongo. Oh, bingo, bango. Nice. Bingo, bango, bongo. Binted bingo, bongos. Bongo. Very good. Very good. Uh, next up. Oh, my God. We actually... I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a lot of fan art. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's cute. We got some uh, girlfriend trauma, but that's okay because your real friends are here. Your real oh. friends are here, Pandora. <laughs> set her off. Well, so good. So good. <laughs> no credits. <laughs> <laughs> no, no credits. Uh, no I have, credits. I have no to weapons. I have to mute this real quick because once again, uh Flying Solomon has made a little jingle called uh up oh, sorry, one second. Called Not the Birds. 
Hey, Not no more music? Not the birds. Not <laughs> the birds! <laughs> Amazing. Ooh, nice little flourish at the end. I like that. Thank you so Snazzy. much. Snazzy. Um, hey, uh, let's go ahead and check in and see what Ribeye's up to today. Hey, yo. Oh, human physiology. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. I, I know a lot about the skeleton, but not a lot about the organs. Well, this uh, this one's uh, uh, I feel a pretty uh, pretty vital fan art of just fighting your own demons. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. So it's a it's a sad one, but I feel it is an important one. So. Booming blade never lets them down. <laughs> the booming blade never lets me down. No, it's it's she's getting better. I think like she's... having a couple of successes recently has helped. <laughs> yeah. Um. And but of course we can never forget. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking hard. Hey Gil, you know what this thing is? <laughs> it's a skeleton. <laughs> it is a skeleton. I do. Cool. I like yeah. I like that. Uh ooh, devious little boss monster. <laughs> ooh, look at him up to some schemes. Ooh, he's up to no good. <laughs> uh, he did give me like proper like anime like yes, Yugi Boy. <laughs> Well, he, he is a creature of shadow, so it's a bit twisted. Uh -huh. um, so just a little bit of lore of the Shadow Veil. So all everyone that's part of the Shadow Veil were the original race of Io um, before they were wiped out by a cataclysmic event. Uh, their Ooh. bodies were sent, uh, and they were called the Astari. Their bodies were sent to the Astral Veil, uh, while their spirits, their souls, were sent to the Shadow Veil. The, bods, the bodies immediately wasted away, uh, kind of turning into these lifeless zombies, with very few of them surviving. Um, as actual entities, only the most powerful Astari did. Um, but the spirits that were in the Shadow Veil uh, became twisted and warped and were essentially in this sort of hellish purgatory. Um, so much so that they have done everything in their power to try and break through, thus the Shadow Breach. Uh, and the, uh, the spirits, these shadows, uh, breached through, uh, tearing through the veils uh, by a sacrifice of an entire kingdom in Asmodia, Literally, the kingdom of Asmodia, uh, the entire populace was wiped out as part of a ritual uh, from their power-hungry prince, who uh, the vessels of the bodies were then used to house these twisted shadows, giving birth to the devil race. The prince uh, was, as his reward, was the vessel of the Deep One, the leader of these shadows, and became uh, Asmodeus. And that is the lore of Shadow and why Damn. they're so fucked. So, yeah, the Shadow Veil is now no longer Twisted Spirits, but actually this new devil race that is currently all about and still scheming, still pushing forward. Uh, let's see. Moving there, moving there. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Medallia, Cody, I'm in terrible pain. You gotta suck out the poison. My Dahlia don't suck. That looks so beautiful. Yeah. You're a vampire. Billy and Mandy? Vampire suck. Blood. I think it is Bill and Mandy, yeah. So yeah. good. Nah, you see, Dragula scrape, uh, yeah, scrape with his fangs and lick up the blood. Like this. Scrape and lick. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh, I love the Almond Gill fan art, guys. Thank you so Ooh, much. Oh, it's for so that. sad. Gil love Gill. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Little uh, skeleton doot. Very good. Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> when the boss theme starts having a Latin choir. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real Hell Dark Souls yeah. moment. <laughs> it is Hell indeed. Yeah. All right. So uh, I think what we're... Um, um, let me check the dates real quick. Three... Um, yeah, I think we should be good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take next Wednesday off. Uh, I feel like this is a really good uh, like uh, cliffhanger moment uh, mm -hmm. just so I can rest me brain. Uh, but then we are going uh, straight in uh, with a four-session run uh, between the 10th Fuck. and the 31st. Uh, with the 31st wrapping up, uh, no matter where you are at this point, um, the first uh, part or season, rather, quote unquote. Um, I will let you know if things go according to what, how I think it will go. Um, 
I can't give too much away, but uh, there may be a special event that will be happening uh, between your seasons that would be pretty mm. vital to Io as a whole, as you are now getting wound up in yet another Shadow War. Um, mm. Also, I did... Cool. I did make an announcement of our fifth campaign taking place in Asmodia, so maybe we'll see what's gonna fucking happen, everyone. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's exactly who <laughs> <ooh, ooh>, uh, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Uh, I won't see you next week, but we shall continue the week after. Sound yeah, good with works, you? Pal. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for the session, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you again. You all have a wonderful day. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.